the game, big like the game plan. The game plan is I'm going to shatter this guy's forearm. <laughs> the game plan is cramp. Bye. Fuck. <laughs> right. He's going to shatter his forearm with cramp. <laughs> Warning! Out of the G4 Studios, Scotland! Paul Bearju Craig! Chris, the bad guy, on guard! Ross Cooper! Presenting from the street or in the shade! It's time for Leather Podcast! It's us. Have okay. you moved a bit, Ross? Have I? I know, I don't want to be this close. I don't want you to be this close, isn't it? Yeah. Plus, you can't hear yourself, so it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? It's a weird setup. So, yeah. today, we've obviously got guests. Um, we've had a busy old week. We had. Mm. Ross <laughs> fighting at the weekend. Aye. You might run for it. <laughs> No really? <laughs> well I it was everyone, I thought everyone was going fine. I'd won the first two rounds. Came out, took him straight down in the first round. Eh, sorry, at the start of the third round. He'd wrestled back to his feet, which was the first time he'd done it at all in the fight. And I knew the third round he was gonna go for it, eh? I knew I could hear his corner saying to him, You have to like it's a knockout here or you don't win. He right. was beat. He was and he was well beat. He's wrestled back kind of reversed the position reversed the position threw a knee to the body it did hurt me it was a bad knee I pulled guard uh, he went wild with the ground and pound but then he had stopped no. he had, he'd stopped doing it I had a K-guard I had an overhook and I was ready to start moving him back and wrestling to my feet doctor decides he's going to wave for the side which is and this is the thing that annoys me more than anything the doctor signalling to the referee wasn't he the referee? The referee said he, he didn't think it was a stoppage. He d he wasn't going to stop it for a doctor to come in. Doctor's waving at the side, like going crazy, waving. Referee calls time. Matthias thinks he's won the fight, says something in Polish. I sat up and punched him during the time. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I've seen that, man. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I've I, I said some things I shouldn't have. <laughs> Went back to the corner and then we had probably a solid two minutes Took them two minutes, three doctors. Re re that's what I was going to say. The doctor came in, had a look at it. Aye. And then he asked the paramedics to look at it as well. They fucked up. They didn't put me in a neutral corner. So, because they put me in my own corner, yeah. Dylan can still stand. Aye. He's allowed. Yeah, no. You're not in a neutral corner, so your coach can speak to you. They start telling Dylan to shut up, and he's like, nope. My yeah. mother, he's like, Aye. your mistake. He's yeah, not in a neutral know. corner. Um, I wanted to stand up because the way he was making me sit, it was hurting my legs. Like, my legs were starting to get heavy, two rounds down. So he had, like, me in this squatted position. I was like, no, I'll stand up. And they're like, no, no, we need you to sit down so we can look at the cut. And I was like, well, it's not my, fault. not my fault. You can't see it. Like, bring in a stool or something then. It was just a fuck up. The whole thing was a, a mess, eh? So the doctor had a look. He asked one of the paramedics to have a look. Twice they came and checked my eyes. The second time I was like, get the torch out my eyes. I've, I've done this now. I've passed this concussion shit. Like, I'm fine. Ah, oh, well, we need to be sure. And I'm like, well, and then the boy, took, it wasn't even the doctor looking at my head. It was the other guy behind him said, I think we'll just call it. And I was like, what's going on here? And I was like, Dylan, what? Like, I turn around, I go, I, I say to Dylan, Dylan took my cornerman who came down with me. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then the doctor decides to stop it. It's because there was a lot of blood. <clears throat> that was thing. bad. It stopped me. And plus, what, what happened to your head? Do you need to get staples? I've got staples. Staples in your head. How many staples? Five or six. So obviously in MMA, <laughs> MMA though, like the, when you get cut, it's usually they'll stop it if it's like here. Well, think about my eyebrow, the last one. Uh, my eyebrow, you can actually see the bone. If it's stopping, maybe like, your vision. Up. But your cut's here. Aye. Well, what, I, what I said to you was, see if you hair. Mm -hmm. That's a different uh, game, isn't it? hundred percent. Well, his, big bo know his big bald head was basically covered in red, so <laughs> it's, it just looks bad. And, it looks like it's on a horror film. I thought it was my nose, because mm -hmm. I, I, I was like, I can't see any blood. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here, but then I could like see it on my body. So I was like, where's this comfy? Uh, and then I saw it on the mat as well. I was like, that's got to be my nose. I didn't even. I had no idea he was his, was cut. when he was in your guard. Just he was just flooding. He would just he went, one elbow just just caught one just landed, through. man. Like I say, I've got I've got a, a shitty business. And that wasn't bleeding at all. So I've got a tiny little black eye. You'd cut him as well, but his cut eye him. was cut right uh, in the corner, mm -hmm. right underneath. His eye was cut. Uh, it sucks. It's just, <laughs> I was like, and then obviously I went a bit. 
Uh, I got a bit upset at the doctors and stuff as well and said a few things to them and <laughs> maybe embarrassed myself a little bit, <laughs> called them names. But I was fucking two rounds up, eh? I was... Yeah, you were coasting, mate. I was watching I was, it. I, mean, it, it I was, was animated, man. I was I fucking know, going mental. I've seen the video. <laughs> Honestly, like... I was just... I was made up proud of you, mate. Like, see, coming yeah. off a loss and then, uh, like... You, you jumped in right away mm. so it's like that's harder to get that one back but it was it was a full camp as well yeah. I think. that was it it's a full it camp you put the work in man it, and it showed the first two rounds it definitely showed man like I felt like the fight wasn't even competitive uh, I felt I felt that dominant even yeah, your big brother done mate I did I did big brother him. I like really this guy yeah. he was a big guy he was, he was a big, fucking huge yeah. Yeah. he was a big lad he's, he's also well renowned in the Thai world like, I didn't he's know got like say. some world, I think he's a world champ like six times uh, six different organisations he could low kick a bit kept trying to like touch hands and I was like fucking no just take him down again blueprint just because he's one he's mm-hmm. one distance so he we can strike it, yeah, yeah. And it, that's you notice at the start of the second round as well like I wanted to just go 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 and then the referee was like no no got back over ah, like, yeah, fucking hate and that. then that's how he got that like jab low kick he hit me with a low kick and I thought fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it was a monster eh? like, I don't want too many of them so we're going to have to find out about you guys so it's uh, Ryan and Dyson from the, the clan um, Chris is dropping the puck is this this Friday isn't it Friday, right. um, Derby Derby again yeah, I know uh, he's you guys are Canadian, ain't he's? Yeah. Um, do you enjoy Scotland? How yeah. long he's been here? Uh, this is my first year, and Dice has been here, I think, what, three years? Yeah, three years. It's my third year. So, Fife is obviously a derby game on Friday? Yeah, is definitely. Our, uh, they, well, the last few years we've been at the bottom of the table, so we're always right. kind of bounce around we're, we're both at the at this time at the bottom of the table right, so and they're trying to catch us and so it's a biggie yeah it's, it's a, a biggie, biggie. it's a, probably one of our bigger games of the year yeah so. do you feel do you feel like letting like the crowd obviously we well I'm a, I'm a football fan so I to use but like the crowd get tense with a derby can you feel that with the crowd even though like you're from Canada and stuff like that does that does that come into play for you yeah for sure this year we've been getting like crazy good fans especially yeah. with our record uh and yeah, you can for sure feel, it, especially early in the game. I think, I, I guess it's the same thing going over before, before a fight. You're, you know, you're all riled up, and then, yeah. and then that just adds that extra boost. And then your first couple, of, we call them shifts. Your first couple of shifts, you're, yeah. you know, you have a little bit of extra momentum going, and you're looking to, you know, hit, hit some guys, and yeah. and you work just a little bit harder when they're when they're on the on their feet. And you, uh, you're the captain, Dyson. Yeah, I am. And yeah. You're the head of them. Yeah, yeah, I tried. We've uh, yeah. we played together quite a bit this year, so we uh, tend to start the game sometimes, and we'll try and go with some piss and vinegar and throw a couple <laughs> of hits and get things going off the bat. But oh, well. do you like to make a mark right at the start? Is that it, or does it build up? Does it try to get the momentum? Yeah, near yeah. the near the start and bring mm. the energy on our side, get the fans going early. And is, let's see with, with hockey is that a huge advantage to being home. Or it's, really it's definitely an advantage for sure. Mm-hmm. I, I think just this, it's so crazy the travel in our league. Like, you have to travel. Like, sometimes we'll drive like five, six hours on a coach bus. And it's like play, the, whole, right? the whole of the UK, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, when you're at home, you're, you know, you're sleeping in your bed all day and mm-hmm. not all day, but you know, you're just used to it. And then you get to go home, and it's more like the advantage is you get more rest and you get to be at home. And, mm-hmm. and then obviously the crowd always helps, but I think the biggest advantage is just being comfortable travel. where you're at, right? How how does the whole process of getting to join a hockey team? How does that go about? Is it like you go through different leagues, like in Canada, and then you're picked up scouting wise? Is that what it's like? Can you go into a wee bit of? Yeah, for sure. So, like, I think we both probably started skating around three or four years old, and then, wow. and then at that time, you're just kind of playing for your hometown teams, and then as you get older, like. 15, 14, 15, you get drafted into, or you can't get drafted into the WHL, it's called, where we both got drafted. And that's for 16 to 20 year olds. And then once you get to that stage, which is hard to do, uh, then you start getting looked at pro, pro-wise. So around like 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, there, then you're starting to look at going to the pros. And then I guess it's just how good you have, have a good year, have a bad year. It makes a big difference at that age. but. Once you get there, then you go to pro, either it's top level, second top level, or third top level, and then you just kind of got to work your way up from there. What's, uh, what's your first ever like, memory of hockey, like ice hockey, as a kid? Did you watch um, like your parents watching it on the TV, or did you see people playing it? What's your- I feel like it was listening to my dad tell stories of the Canada in 1972, I think <laughs> it was, versus Russia, <laughs> and the Super Series or whatever, listening yeah. to that. Um, as far as mine, I just remember being really little, skating on these metal 
<clears throat> metal things like this and you kind of just hold it and you move your feet around and that's kind of how I learned to skate yeah. anyway. Yeah, same thing. We just, in Canada, it's kind of like football here, I guess you just, you know, when you're young, you go out and everyone's kicking the ball around. Play in the street. It's like the opposite, or the yeah. same, but we're hockey, so yeah. like, as soon as you're three, four, you got a stick in your hand. And so would you would you play it in the street before you went on to like a rink or whatever? Yeah, we do. We always have street hockey. Yeah, uh, that's I'm quite from cool. a town of eighteen hundred people. Right. So we always have. Small. Everyone's got nets and then a bunch of sticks and there's usually some uh, some nice scraps on the, on the pavement. <laughs> Can I imagine? Back when you're young, so yeah. And that's the primary sport. Yeah, like for sure. Where both of you grew up here, yeah, was hockey dominant. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. I went through a stage of hockey. I think everybody does when you watch my Edux for the first time. You're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to do this. And I remember getting a pair of skates for like JJB Sports. They were like horrible. They were like proper, like rough skates. They're not like the way they are now, where they just glide. Actual uh, ice skates? Ice skates. Mm -hmm. Get a hockey stick and get one of the, the balls, the NFL balls. Was it orange? N NF. N what is it, NHL, and uh, it was bright orange eye, and see if you get caught in the thigh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even net, so we didn't even nothing like that, and it was just like, watched a hockey movie, and then I'm like, I'm in, <laughs> <laughs> and then realised, this is fucking harder than it looks, like, <laughs> skating itself's fine, when you're trying to use a stick, and chase somebody, and get the puck, and put out of these fake nets, it's just, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of fucking moving parts that are happening in this, um, Enforcer, so you're the guy that's dishing at the beatings. Am I correct? Um, I, I'd say Dice probably has fought a few more times this ah, year and throughout his career. We both try and mix it up, though, for sure. Is it a bit etiquette to it? Really? Because it's just yeah, for sure. It, it's uh, it's kind of an unwritten rule. Just like you got to be smart. And mm -hmm. usually back in the day, it was all the tough guys that they always fought each other. If you were a tough guy back in the day, you don't fight someone who's not tough, who's not known yeah, to yeah. fight. You know what I mean? Uh, so you already have to have a bit of a reputation for it. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm around 200, 200 fights. That was a captain, really, by example. <laughs> that day, man. Well, I, I'm kind of smart. Well, we're both getting older, kind of slowing down, so <laughs> we're not scoring so much. We gotta do something else. So for the listeners, there's obviously like, rules to a fight. Um, what, what is it with the? As if people take their time to get a good grip on it, and then when it hits the deck, it's over. Like you can't. Is that is that true? Yeah, pretty much. So you know, you started at a young age, and you learn. The tough thing about hockey is you kind of got to learn through fighting more. It's not mm. like you know you get to practice punching a bag. Not not that that's easy, but you have to you have to you get your practice by doing it all the time. So it takes like 30, 50, 30 40 fights to actually know what what's yeah. going on, and then yeah, you get your grab, and then whatever happens, but as soon as the guy hits the ice, it's kind of game over, yeah, just because yeah. there's skates and shit flying everywhere, mm -hmm. and then yeah. and then also the, the fact where the helmet comes off and you smack in your head on the back of the ice, that's where it yeah. gets dangerous, I think. And then what is it, what's the penalty for the fight? Uh, you just get five, if it's just a straight even fight where both guys are willing to do it, it's just five minutes, so by the time your five minutes is up, you're your adrenaline's kind of down. <laughs> I like when the two of them are in the box at the same time, and they're still like, when we get out, but it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go and just strap the gloves. It's amazing. That's the best bit. You got beef with any of these guys you're playing on Friday? <laughs> you're already looking them. But do you think like that? Do you think like you're going to have a problem with this guy? or Because that's bound to go. Through. You'll be thinking straight away, this guy will be looking for me. There's some rivalries, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, well, we kind of, we don't really get the stat sheets back home. Like, you get to see all the, who's got the most penalty minutes. So... I think we're both pretty high in the league. I think I'm second in the league with 85 penalty minutes. <laughs> but you can tell on the other team who's their... Who's so 85, you've right? been in the box? Yeah. Is there any point where, like, these accumulate and then you get, like, a, a banner in that? Uh, they're getting... To, not in this league, but they're, they're, trying to, they're trying to get rid of fighting in hockey, which is... Why? Just injuries and the head, the head stuff, and the a lot of hand injuries as well because it's bad. Yeah, punching the helmets. Yeah, and man. Just people hitting their head on the ice. There's been a few deaths and stuff like that. I mean, and they're trying to get rid of it. So in the in the higher leagues, not the NHL, but the American League, which is the league below, and then they they have a ten fight rule. So if you get ten fights, then you start getting suspended, yeah, and yeah. then you have to miss games and. And then you lose pay when you get suspended. Yeah. Right? So, right. so those are kind of incentives to, to try and get yeah. rid of that. Do you think that changes the sport massively? Sounds like it does. Well, I think it's going to attract different. I think it's a big part of it. It's, it's part it of it. Like, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I hope it doesn't get get yeah. taken. Oh, there's a new guy on the New York Rangers. He's like six foot eight, two hundred and fifty pounds. I think <laughs> he's fought his first three games since he came to the league. This is I think last week. Yeah. He's already got a huge shiner on his eye, and you know the fans love it. So yeah, it's some men it you know helps the team, and I don't know. I think it keeps dirtier hits out of the game as well. Yeah. Oh, for sure, because there's going to be. But then the same things happened with soccer when you think about the modern game compared to like the 90s like oh, not so much the diving I'm just talking about like oh, tackle sure. wise uh, people coming in and hitting heavy tackles um, so I think it's just like I'm, I'm, I don't want thing to go in uh, no. hockey but I think it's just one of these things that's like it's it going to eventually so. go definitely yeah, still evolved because if you're trying to bully someone if you're trying to bully a smaller person or a, or a player, you should, like you say, you can only be fighting with a certain guys. If you're trying to bully another player, then this monster guy is just going to come across and smash you. So it stops you behaving like that if you've got players on another team who are bullies. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it yeah. is. But, yeah. the, but the world's getting soft, it's getting soft right? That so, is soft. And now the game's definitely, like, there's, there's junior leagues, so that's the 16 to 20 where they've taken fights right out if you fight, like, kicked out of the game and suspended. So they're really trying to in juniors. Mm. That's that. the main age when boys are fighting. Yeah, so they're trying to <laughs> so they're trying to bring so that up. <laughs> they're trying to bring that up. So once you're getting to the pro level, that no one knows how to fight or do anything. So then, like you said, it just turns into a shit show mm. where some dickhead on the on the other team can just run around and yeah. slashing guys and and running guys, and no one can do anything about it, or they're going to get kicked out, right? So why are the why are the goalkeepers so protected? Like why like don't go fucking near my goalkeeper? What's I don't know, just because I guess he's the, like the backbone of your team yeah. and he's all warm. So if he gets hurt, then you got to have the, the yes. cold backup goalie in. So then he's probably easier to score on. Right. So he's just kind of, don't let anyone fuck I always with your see goalie. if somebody has a, like a wee stick to them, they're just, oh, if yeah. all teams over, like, yeah. all, yeah. of, all of it, all of the, like the togetherness of a hockey team. Not me. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of, that's a, that's a definitely a rule. One of the bigger rules in hockey is just, don't let them go near your goaltender. Yeah. If they do, it's just it's kind of free game. You're because your coach gets pissed off at a lot of things you do. But if someone touches a goalie and you do something, he ain't gonna care. I was <laughs> I was wanting to get your, your views on uh, last week. The the Maple Leafs they scored like a, a slap shot empty netter. I'm assuming you've seen it. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Like I didn't know that was like pure frowned upon. Yeah, I mean I like what Morgan Riley went after the. Uh, went is after that something that you would do? Uh, yeah, oh yeah. So for you that don't know, there was an em- usually at the end of the game, if a team's chasing, they'll take their goalkeeper off and an extra man on just to push for a, like an equaliser or whatever. So they, they they break empty net. Usually they just hit it in. This guy like skated right up, big slap shot, and then one of the players just just chased him Why? and just smacked him with the stick. But they were going to score anyway, so what's the difference that makes him push in or a slap, slap, slap shot? shot is like, is it frowned upon or not? Or is yeah, it? Yeah, well, it's just like, it's if the empty net's there and you're kind of all alone, it's just like, it's an, another unwritten rule. It sounds like hockey's got a lot of rules, but <laughs> you, just put, too. <laughs> you just put it in just because, you know. It's easy, it's easy. It's just basically shoving it up the other team's ass when you do something <laughs> like that, so. It's so kind of, what's, yeah. your, what's your thoughts on that? Like you would have nailed the guy? Would you have nailed yeah, the guy? 100%. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. And it's just, uh, well, for us, it's a, we call it free five minutes. It's when you fight a guy that's not very tough and yeah. you know you're going to beat the shit out of him, it's a free five minutes. I, that's yeah. the <laughs> I like when the, the, the guy like pure cross-checked him like the other guy, just like, yeah. oh, like come on, man. Yeah. Mean? I think he got him a little high. Yeah, he meant to hit him in the shoulder. I did get him a wee bit in the, in the neck, kind of a jab to wee bit. Yeah. Yeah. So what's mm. your team's grown up? Uh, like where, what teams on? Like, uh, what was your team like? Obviously, Chris is a the Bruins fan. Vancouver fine. Canucks were my favorite. So Canucks, yeah, they, uh, the Bruins beat them in, in you, 2011. You and there was all the riots and fires all downtown and stuff. So that was, <laughs> that was a shit show. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was there. So I took it well then. Oh, yeah, I took it well. yeah. That was for the that was the final, wasn't it, Stanley? Yeah, Stanley Cup final. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> it, seems like it, still, it seems like you're yeah. still yeah. caught well, up. Last time the Canucks have done anything, so it's yeah, it's kind of what I've been uh, been going on. Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, we never really watched him from small town, so he's kind of he was lucky growing up in BC. So there's a, my closest team's like six and a half hours away, or right. five and a half, I guess, to Calgary. So we never really got to go to many games. So I just cheer for whoever my dad liked and then kind of once I got older I just liked the Bruins just because they're they're always tough team played tough and always were good I guess and just played hard made the playoffs and there was always a bunch of fights and rough stuff so always liked them if you were in a road traffic accident that wasn't your fault it's important you're looked after by a team who cares cares enough to guide you through the entire process 
cares enough to be there 24-7 and arrange higher cars and physio appointments. G4 claims care. In fact, we don't charge for our services. We're paid by the insurer, which means you get 100% of your compensation. Search online for G4 claims today. Keep 100% of your claim. G4 claims. What's, What's your thoughts on MMA? He's, he's interesting. I, lo- I, love, I love MMA, UFC. Dana White's like one of my favourite guys in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, I, like, people have asked me, like, what's Dana like? Uh, I, I like? For me, he's like Tony Soprano. <laughs> I've said it a few times. He's just like, he's like this. He's the boss. Yeah, he's, 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 he's the, bad guy, the bad guy you root for. <laughs> Aye, he is. He's like, he rules with an iron fist. And I, I, I guess some aspects it's really, really good because there's not a lot of fucking about with regards to guys dodging each other. You, you're fighting the best of the best. But then there's times where you're like, ah, that guy's a bit of a prick. But Mike Perry went in on him the day. Did he? What was he saying? No. Just saying that um, he makes emotional decisions. If you piss him off, he'll fuck you over. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you need to grow up and stuff. It, it's just a bit, boss, isn't it? It's just, just a boss, really. And, but that's what Mike Perry said. What age are you guys? You can't just do this to people. It's like, well, yes, he fucking can. He's like, <laughs> it's not a democracy. Recently, I've, I've, he's been more like doing loads of podcasts. I know we are speaking about him walking off that podcast. He's uh, saying no more now, though. I say no more. Don't invite he's, me on. He's trying to be this influencer rather than being an actual... Because he's got some abs now, man. He's fucking... Right, right. Like, yeah, yeah. Me. <laughs> it's a 50 some year old, old man. <laughs> he's fucking out there. No, that ends up for the bosses when they get the new boss. <laughs> Doesn't end well yeah. for the bosses when they get the... <laughs> but he's on the scales, like, fuck. <laughs> he's fight something. 205 for the day of work. It's like uh, when you could actually go them in the computer game. And he looks shredded oh, to fuck, and you're like, get the fuck. You like you GSP? Good... I like GSP. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. If you've got, got, if you, if you got an MMA guy like currently, that's like, he's my guy. Man, I, I love, like, Diaz, Nate Diaz, just yes. he's the baller, but love it, love it. I don't know. I watch quite a bit of it, like, um, just the highlights and shit, because we, like, just on your phone, obviously, mm-hmm. see it, but I mm-hmm. watch, I love Dana White, I'm talking about the Nelk podcast, there's these Nelk boys from Canada, yep. Yeah. they kind of, they screw around with Dana White all the time, so... I don't know, I just, I don't know, I like him. And then McGregor, obviously, I, everyone kind of loves him. Yeah. It's what he's done for the sport, I think. And he's cool. he, massive. Yeah. Did really? you ever do like, like wrestling at school or maybe do some jiu-jitsu here or that? No. I did some boxing classes when I was younger, yeah. go to the boxing hall and see what... Well, you need to, man, you need to start fucking leathering, can't yeah. you know I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Grabbing. So no wrestling at school or that in Canada? No, stuff it's nothing. I, I always wanted to get into like UFC yeah. and fighting and stuff, but everyone that does it gets kind of in a young age they get to well I don't know too much about it but at a young age they kind of we didn't really eh? we're a bit of an exception Scotland, like we were Scotland older. was a bit older, later, yeah. later I think I was like 24 oh really I was um, 26 you, you would have been Jeez. about no, good one you were, yeah, you I guess were, you don't have an excuse then <laughs> yeah. well now the <laughs> thing is now you, now you do because yeah. like you, you game, see guys the in the gym so who are quickly. 21 year old they've had you 4 or 5 that, 6 pro fights Stephen Clancy Oh fuck I 16 no, he's, seven, he's just turned 17 just turned He just 17. passed his driving test So he's 17 And these kids uh, Can do it all When we were growing up It was like Oh he's a tough guy Or he's a wrestler Or he's mm-hmm. a jiu jitsu practitioner Now it's like Nah you'll kick your ass everywhere yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter where, it, where this fight goes uh, You know men in sparring yeah. And he's 17 Do you think yeah. there's a lot more opportunities For younger people now though? No I think there's less Really? I think there's less I Because yeah. there's more clubs from the start earlier? No. Yes but there's so many shit clubs out there so, so you'll, go, like, you'll go to a show and you'll get fucked up mm-hmm. so they'll put you in with like another guy who's maybe had one so you maybe had one fight they put you in with this other they put you in with like Stephen Clancy who's had a couple of fights and on paper you go oh that looks an even fight and the other boy gets fucking kicked to death it's, it's just <laughs> it's, it's all <laughs> <laughs> like it's what's gonna happen it's all it's all about who's running about you as in hey, Forza what? MMA what, mind that the boy came in covered in tattoos looked apart that's two fights in a row now he's been absolutely like, car crashed out of there and then I see he's got another fight coming up he's just a young guy going right. to get fucking obliterated and it's like see if you are a young guy uh, the, the, I don't think I don't think this is the sport for you <laughs> like I don't think there's a lot of opportunities um, I can hear myself come through it's like, yeah. it's like a, <laughs> it's like a buzz. No, 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 I can, I don't know. Anyway, if you're a young guy, I, I, I don't think there's a lot of money to be earned in MMA and there's a lot of damage you take with it as well. Um, and so if I was giving that young kid advice, I'd be like, get yourself. Did you, can you hear it? I can, it's coming out again. Is it your headphones? Mm. Right. So um, I, it's just, 
it's tough and the rewards aren't that great but like, it's fine if you've made it to the UFC you've made it to fighting Bellator fighting Cage Warriors fighting all these different prom promotions but to get there it, it takes a lot of it's the same as yourselves man you think about all the shit you just have to go through to get to where he's want to be mm -hmm. to play higher level it's it's horrible people don't see that would you advise kids to take up MMA and make, I, make it a career no maybe not a career but definitely take it up yep. just for self just defense, life just respect life. all the things that go along with martial yeah, arts but I always tell people I coach young boys especially like you like need an education you need a job like this is this should be this should be a hobby at the start but like right. People see, watch the um, UFC on the TV. They see the, the lights and the glamour and like Mc, McGregor jumping about in yachts and stuff like that. I and like one oh, person. Oh, there's a lot about that. Maybe mm -hmm. one I guess it's couple of every sport. Off each it's other every one. sport. When you think about the guys at the top who are at the absolute pinnacle, they're the guys that are earning the big bucks. Mm -hmm. And then it obviously goes down. There's different mm -hmm. tiers to what people are earning. Especially when you take in injuries. I know. The older oh. you get, the injuries. It's like if you if you go to MMA to be rich, then you're making the wrong decision. Because <laughs> if you get in for big damage, five percent. My son, he he just said there only a few weeks ago. He's like, do you think I could start going to Thai box? I'm like, no. <laughs> get hit in the head. It's twelve years old. I'm like, no, I'm not getting fucking yeah. your head smashed in at twelve years old. You know. jujitsu. You did that in the hospital. So <laughs> 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 Clean up your fucking room. But um, you I'm like, nah, son, I, I, belt it. Was that was brilliant. <laughs> that was brilliant. I couldn't have him. I couldn't have him doing a sport where he's getting hit around the head. It's just yeah. for what? And then he, but he comes out with a. But you do. Aye, but I'm a fully grown man. Like right. it's too late for me. So yeah. you can do whatever you want, but. I don't know. So back, to, back to the old hockey. Uh, um, what other teams have you played for before you came to the old beautiful Glasgow? Beautiful Glasgow. Uh, <laughs> it's sunny here, eh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in. Do you not think it remembers you a wee bit of Canada, Scotland? Over here? Mm hmm. I travelled travel Canada there a few months back. Closer to where he's from. Where did you travel? <laughs> Well, you're from British Columbia, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. What about Prince George? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah. tell the people eating the grass and all that. PG's a little tougher. Oh. Uh, so I, start, I started at Calgary and drove all the way through Alberta, all the way through British Columbia. I'll be up to Alaska, see it's short, okay. you know, short. Yeah. Like pure remote, up to there and all the way down to Vancouver. It was experience, but Prince George was stopped because we thought it was going to be all right. <laughs> Wow, it's, a, it's a tough city. Yeah. It's a hard working uh, blue collar city for yeah. sure out there. But the rest is the rest is beautiful. To yeah. be fair, I yeah, Vancouver's. I mean, the winters are fairly similar here. Lots of rain uh, and yeah. I think Vancouver's like easily the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. Man, yeah. I'm always just saying that Vancouver is like out of the full world, and we we're all just going through it. And I'm like, we should stay another day here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not a bad place to stay in extra uh, night, for but sure. But no, Canada is beautiful. So, so did you, what teams did you play for before coming to Scotland? Uh, I've been in uh, Hungary, Slovakia. and then really? my, Yeah. Nice. And then my favorite place was in Colorado in the States. Um, the ECHL, we won back-to-back -back cups. So that was my nice. favorite place. Brilliant, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I played in the ECHL too in uh, Texas. I was right outside Dallas. Texas. And then I was in the AHL for uh, f three different teams, just short periods of time, mm -hmm. which is the step below the NHL. So Utica, New York. Yeah. Just kind of a... Uh, where's, where's the best place to play hockey for you? Where was your favorite venue? Um, For me, probably it was Colorado, just because... Uh, probably had, you know, 5,000 screaming fans every night. And obviously when you're a good team, it's... There's tons of, we had tons of fighting, tons of goals. We had everything going on Good there. Man. It kind of reminds me a little bit of our arena, Brayhead, because yeah. the stands are like right on top of you. Yeah. So it's like the fans are right in it with you. So I think we miss a trick with sports in Scotland. Like when you look at places like Canada, America, and how many opportunities they've got for sports and like mm -hmm. college level sports where they're <clears throat> packing out stadiums and we're like, do you want to go and watch? your local team or do you want to go drive an hour into Glasgow and watch Rangers or Celtic I think it's ridiculous I think you should like support your local team I do support my local team my daughter goes and supports her local team how, did, local your, team how, did, how, did, you, how did your team do against the <laughs> <laughs> my local team shit though you know what I mean like, <laughs> what is your local team Motherwell well, oh, well, 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 well. disband Motherwell man uh, no point even having them um, <laughs> but no I think, I think Motherwell makes Prince George look fucking <laughs> yeah. like the Bahamas man Motherwell's <laughs> a depressing place eh? <laughs> we're, we're definitely missing tricks with, um, and I, th I, th I, th I think to have more sports in 
at a young age for yeah. kids because right now if you want to be a professional athlete what are your options to football. be a fo- footballer that's a very really like, rugby maybe but everything else is kind of closed off to them so having opportunities for hockey MMA wrestling whatever it is that you want to go and I just think we need opportunities like this for kids have you ever played in like one of the like the lake games like the outside the frozen lake you ever done stuff like that I don't know when I was in junior so the 16 to 20 year old yeah. uh, we actually his hometown now Calgary yeah. uh, Alberta we had a game in the outdoor in the CFL which is Canadian Football League Yeah. so I think it seats like probably 20 grand 20,000 people and we got to have another yeah. game so I was seven, 17 when I had one in Calgary yeah in Calgary nice, man. Nice. it was sweet yeah. and that's that's just on like um, they, they make the ice up so there was an NHL game and then they just bring in blocks and then just yeah. make this whole purpose built yeah rink. right in the middle of the football field obviously in that's the winter cool. and yeah they just throw up the boards and ice and I'm sure it costs a ton of money but I'm pretty sure they, yeah. cool they make it back pretty I think they do one like lake I, I, is it Idaho or Tahoe. Tahoe Lake Tahoe yeah, that, that that's pretty shoot. fucking cool man isn't yeah. it how cool is that pretty shit pretty sick yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice dangerous man is it can you, I, I watched can, you can you ice skate can you ice skate I can ice skate can, but you, can you go backwards I can go backwards <laughs> I bet you can I am I'm fucking good I used to go to the Magnum Centre and everything <laughs> Magnum <laughs> <laughs> uh, I no, there's no, I'm not good there's not <laughs> what I can do what about uh, hockey films uh, these, these fans like old school slap shot or like the new ones like Goon and stuff like that is, it, is that the films that annoy you yeah slap shot for sure is aye that's a classic slap, isn't it yeah, that's yeah, a classic I think the Goon's a little it's a little crazy I think <laughs> they blow it a little bit out of proportion just cause I don't know it's some hmm. people that don't really know the game think it's yeah, yeah. there's some dickhead going to the ice uh, the penalty box waiting for someone to get out of uh, the penalty box it's not like that but I don't know slap shot slap shot slap shot's shot's awesome like, yeah well but uh, well, obviously, one Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks grew up watching that. Ah, yeah. Gordy Bombay. <laughs> He's the goat man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The, the goalkeeper's not doing too good these days. Oh, no. Goldie. Goldberg. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. I, 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 think, I think he's, think he's off the. Is he good? Uh, now? He's after yeah. cap. I seen. I seen a. I seen a. I seen a bad pitch today. He wasn't looking too good. No, he wasn't. You might hear what I done at the weekend. Yes. So I went to watch Dark Side of the Moon. I told us last week. Oh, I, I, I. So. They play Dark Side of the Moon, talking about being on the kit. <laughs> I wasn't on the kit. I'm Pink, off it. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd, Dark Pink Side Floyd, of the Moon. They play it from start to finish. It's 40 minutes and uh, it's in the planetarium. And oh my fucking God, mate. <laughs> what do you do? Like lie back in a chair? You do. So the chairs are kind of like this. Like and no, they don't move. But they kind of like sit you in. So you're like kind of hunched up. At one point, I couldn't feel my legs. Like I didn't think my legs were attached to him at one point. And then Why was that? There was just <laughs> shit flying by. Why could you not feel your legs? I took too much drugs. <laughs> <laughs> so they take you, so the first 15 minutes of the show, right, it's an hour long, first 15 minutes to take you on this wee journey through space, and you're like, wow, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was that point I realised, fuck, I've taken oh, too fuck. much. <laughs> Is this like an IMAX? Or? Uh, no, it's like a planetarium, it's like a big dome. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, Wait, science Centre? Science Centre. In Glasgow? And I, I had taking an edible and it was after that 15 minutes I realised that oh <laughs> I fucked up man <laughs> and I, I rode this fucking yeah, thing yeah. <laughs> like the big Lebowski just floating on it so there's the a space. song called Time, Time on the album have you heard it and it's like all these clocks go off and it's like ringing and buzzing man I was like oh my fucking god like was it I, good though? It was fucking amazing. Uh, yeah. like, I'm thinking about going back next week and doing it. <laughs> doing it again. Um, Season ticket. I, it, was, it was like, there was a point where I, it felt like I'd been away for years. I'd been fucking miles away. And then yeah. I, the, 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 the album ends, and I'm like, fuck, do you know Gary? I, I was like, yeah. Gary came with me, and I was like, do I get, do I get up? What do I do? And then I start walking across the bridge from Science Centre to the SECC. I couldn't cross the bridge. It was too long. <laughs> <laughs> I kept walking, and I was like, fucking hell, man. And I'm walking, and Gary's like, you all right? And I'm like, Gary, when's this bridge ending, man? <laughs> like, I kind of get to the end of it, and I eventually get to the end of it, and I was like, Phew. Fucking hell. So I was meant to go and see James's son, who was in a band, or uh, Pink Cloud. They were playing at the... King Tuts. King Tuts. Yeah. I was meant to go and see them. Never made it. I ended up having to phone my partner to come and pick me up and I get stuck behind the van. <laughs> I couldn't get past this van. I was like, this is the biggest van ever. What do you, you mean you got stuck <laughs> in the motor? Or no, no, no. You were, I was walking. Right. I was like, <laughs> 
<laughs> he's put the hazards on. He's still not ready. No, no, no. I was walking, right? And I was walking. It was like you ever seen how the you ever seen like the images of the Sasquatch, like when I've caught him walking, and he's like he's like this. <laughs> That's how I was walking, right? And um, oh, this van was in front of me, and I couldn't get past. I couldn't get. What do you mean it was in front of you? Was it on the road? It was on the it was on the road. <laughs> Where were you? What on the road? I mean, yeah. oh, and I just couldn't get, wouldn't know it fucking stop. <laughs> and I kept walking and I'm thinking, I, I can't go any further, I need to go back. Right. As I get through the other side of it, and I looked back and seen the van, I was like, that's not that big. There was hundreds of space. There was hundreds of space, but I was <laughs> fucking, I was in the shadow realm yeah. for hours. It's probably a smart car. <laughs> I drive a smart car, that's my He drives a smart car, that's what I say. Dylan was pure chain smoking in the car on Saturday night, was coming home, and I was the same. He was like, I think you might be a bit concussed, Coop. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so so I, I, like, I'm going to go next week, you fancy it? No. <laughs> Oh, but no, 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 the experience was amazing. I'll, I'll move the van for you, though. <laughs> so, uh, I had, that was my experience of Just the dark side of the is not banned in MMA. So, it's only is performance it, is it, and drugs. Is it banned, banned within hockey, getting tested for THC? Um, I think in, in the European leagues it is, yeah. Um, in, uh, in, uh, in America it's not, in Canada? I don't think so in, in America, no. I think it's a, you get a little pee pee slap maybe if uh, if you get caught doing it, but it's not banned. You get a couple warnings. Do you get tested though for like. We get randomly tested, yeah. And stuff. So not very often, but uh, enough to keep Randomized, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It definitely helps within sports where you're hitting people, especially if you're getting pushed you get up. Like, listen, people are coming in no. Friday. No. Come just show like, up. If they come for a game, they come out in the second period, they piss in this cup. tell you don't piss until yeah. the end of the game, and they just come in and watch. You prefer know, that, man. We, we were somewhere, I can't remember where it was, and we were just about to walk out and fight, and this must have been Mexico, and this Russian guy come in. And he was all like, yeah. And you <laughs> sat, you sat, did you remember this? I you sat across to him and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he sat there for ages, right? So we went away out and fought and came back and he was still sitting there because you're not allowed to leave until you've given them a piss sample. And there's like that guy and I was like. Paul, Paul's done a shit in front of somebody and they had to sit and watch him. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that chill sat there and he was just sitting watching him do a shit. So Sorry, he's there. The, the, worst, the, worst, the worst part about it was um, when I did. Because he need to watch you. Yeah. So they kind of have to see your, your, your shaft and uh, <laughs> we were in the toilet and I, I'd like. I knew I was going to need a shit. Your haggis bonbons. And I was like, I'm going so to sit good down. So good though haggis bonbons. I'm eh? going to sit down <laughs> because I feel I can control this a wee bit better. And I was like, I need a shite. I'm not going to be able to piss unless I do a shite. So I was like, ah, fuck it. So I do this big, stinky shit. And the guy goes like this. <laughs> comes away. Like, you may be looking at guy. Can I follow this? And uh, I was fucking disgusting. Yeah. And the guy then, then I had to. I went to hand him a cup of piss, and he was like, "Can he touch it?" Because he can he, he in case he he's not going to tamper it, but he's just not like this your piss. So I'm like, I need to wash my hands. Like I've. So what do you want? You shoot a seal or something? No, but like they won't touch my piss because it's my piss. Mm -hmm. And they're like, we don't want you to say, oh, well, he touched my piss and there's a chance he mm -hmm. could have contaminated yeah. it. You swapped it. Like, see, like, T -X see, piss. Like, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's funny, but see, the, see when the guy comes to my door, my daughter will be like, oh, it's the man he collects your bee dad. <laughs> I had to take him to school as well, like do the school run. And they're not allowed to leave your site. So I'm like, I need to, he came to the door as I was leaving. And he's like, I have to come with you. And I was like, <laughs> won't take my wings to school with me. <laughs> no, but he goes to that to me, he goes, um, do you want me to get in your car? And I drive a smart car with two seats in it. I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> like how? Like, I need to pick up my daughter. How are you going to fit in here and my daughter? <laughs> Fucking idiot, you follow me? I followed us. Didn't take his eyes off me. Got to give him ID and all this kind of stuff. So it's like, when you said I was part of the UFC, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was random, very random. Um, and they used to like to try and catch you, like they would come like a Saturday morning or they would catch you, like they would take you two days in the trot just to try and trip you up. But um, it definitely made the sport a lot cleaner, I think. Do I think this new mob's going to make a, the same impact that USADA has made? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I've not been tested for January, which is... What changes are they bringing in? 
None. No changes with regards to. They'll not hit you on fight day. They've, they've, said, said, that. they've said that. They're not going to hit you because there's a lot of people on complaining. Fight. Who was it? Was it Usman? I think it was Usman. Usman got hit at five o'clock in the morning Aye. on fight day to say we're here, and he was like, "What? I'm fucking fighting today. Like, I need to be sleeping." So give me the piss. They're taking that away. Aye. They're getting rid of that. But apart from that, everyone's pretty much the same Jeff Nowitzki still runs the whole programme Golden Snitch the Golden Snitch aye um, career ruiner aye, aye. <laughs> aye. I still want that Letterman jacket the you seen it the you yeah, said that the shoot, uh, shooter McGavin jacket see that one <laughs> shooters uh, if, you, if you get 50 <laughs> you get 50 clean tests they give oh, you a jacket <laughs> oh really but see the guys that have got 50 <laughs> clean tests like they've clearly been cheating like Yoldo Mero yeah. got one mm-hmm. Yoldo Mero was like where's Harry Pro has cuz one mate so you got 50 tests a month where's his jacket and then he hurt his shoulder he, he got a band is what he got, nah, he got what about um, um, how, how are you finding the food in Scotland uh, fairly similar honestly in back really? home yeah there's some mate you hate it here eh I had a, <laughs> it's a horrible place eh? why do you like I it here I had a, 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 a breakfast I had a breakfast in Banff and I'm telling you right now there's no the fucking same food, man. The yeah, bre- the breakfast here is, is brutal. There we go. Canada breakfast is. Oh. It's hard to find a good I can give it that once a week, man, that breakfast. I just have a banana and orange at the rink usually. I'm not a huge <laughs> breakfast guy myself, but. Coffee and a chew. Yeah. What, what about <laughs> Haggis, Tatis Collins, what are we talking here? Any, like any Scottish food? Well, we did a, a, t- a taste test on our team and. Uh, I think they left it out maybe a little long or something, so it was a little rock hard, but oh. some, of the, some of the taste was good. <laughs> An air fryer. We don't need it a whole lot. We just kind of stick to our... Mm. Just when you're playing, we, we play usually Wednesday, Saturday, you, Friday, Saturday. So have your own chef and stuff? Kinda, no, we're not, no, we're not making that money. But, <laughs> but uh, we kind of just always stick to the same thing, like yeah. what, we, what we're used to eating back home. Chicken and pasta. And Do you go out in Glasgow a lot or like... Yeah, we've been out usually yeah. like once a month or so. We'll maybe yeah. go out and have some, have a couple of beers at a pub or the the whole team. You just go out and sometimes there's a whole team, but uh, there's usually a couple, usually the same guys kind of go. Like there's guys that are homebody guys and who aren't married. Yeah, well, <laughs> it used to be back in the day. Like, well, not back in the day. Like I'm really old, but it used to be like ten single guys on the team. I think we only have four or three or four. So it's mm-hmm. it's a little tougher to city find boys. Yeah. <laughs> what about um? What about the Scottish women? How many women? nationalities you got in the team? I think there's I seen a few last time I checked. We got a Finland guy, some couple Americans, Finland Canadians, guy. <laughs> Finnish guy. <laughs> Uh, Pastor, no, he's 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 a, he's Finnish, I'm sure. Pastor mm-hmm. plays for Bruins. Czech, I think. Is he Czech? I think so. I yeah. Finland. He's got the hat trick. He's nasty he? though. Oh, he's so good. Yeah. Eh? Uh, what other nationality? Sorry. Canadian American. Are there a, lot, are there a few Scots in there? Yeah. Couple, yeah. Are they shit? <laughs> no, 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 get the really really good not that we have bad ones but they get the best no, 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 so, sort of so like our rule is you can only have 15 imports and the rest have to or that's how many you can have playing so you you dress what 20 players mm-hmm. 20 players so you have like basically five have to be uk or scottish guys so mm-hmm. that's where you, you want to have good scottish guys because the imports are always should be your best players because you're bringing them in from you know wherever canada america anywhere so that those guys should be your best but then like I said, the best teams usually have the best Scottish guys and UK guys. And we're not doing very good this year, so I'm not making our team sound like we have the bad ones, but that's kind of where we they, they need to go towards the better teams. Who's, who's in charge of the speaker on the dressing room? Who's picking the tunes? Neither of us. No. And, and what, we, so, we what songs country. are getting played? Country? We play country. I'm a country guy. Yeah, Fucking I yes. Play. I don't know what they call it here. The Fucking hard the style probably. Rap. No, it'll be techno. Oh, is it like that mumble rap shit? That's yeah, you can't. You can't rap. Can. Ross likes all that. That's I like that. Grime, you like yeah, grime? Yeah, like that's, that's, like that's, 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 that's shit, man. That's all right. Some of them are all right. No, man. That grime stuff shit. It's not. It's no classic rap. No. Get some cream. I don't want to see any in new rap either. I'm not doing the kids. Don't get it. Just don't get it. Like Clan have like a youth set up so he's feeding like... Young players coming through? Not really. I, 
I, I wish I think they're they're maybe trying to get it to be like that, but it's there's nothing really yet that they they have young young kids like back home. It's just like you start at a young age and the yep. like Pro right by junior, it's the junior paths. So there's 13 year olds all the way up to 15 year olds, and then you make the WHL. But they don't really have that around here. I think. Maybe there's like, in the future then. Yeah, I think that, it'd be a really good idea. That's what we're saying. There's, there's league for kids. It's soccer. Yeah. It's just soccer. And if you've mm. got any other talent, it just kind of gets think, wasted. I think they do stuff on the rink, though, for mm. kids, isn't it? Is that just skating? Yeah, they skating, have public skating, skating and stuff. Yeah. I think there is some, some hockey sessions. I yeah. haven't really seen them. But I've seen, like, U15 signs and stuff. So I think they got something going on, but yeah. I don't think there's a, I could be wrong, but not a junior clan or yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. That's That'd be some, something, for the something you can do. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it'd be really smart, especially if they had like us helping train. I think it would bring a lot of people mm-hmm. in. And yeah, we could get some extra dough, maybe. Yeah, that's that man. Yeah, yeah, like that's that man. But it'd be smart for them because uh, we we kind of we have it pretty easy. It sounds like bad with all the travel, but we go to the rink at nine, coffee and a chew for breakfast, and then all night nice at ten till eleven. Screw around, practice, just getting a little better, like for half an hour, and then you're off and go work out and then you're done basically at 12.31. Yeah. Do you so. have uh, programs to follow individually for like, do you have like sports, nutrition, sports, conditioning, all that kind of stuff? Uh, there are, there's no nutrition plans really, just kind of each their own. But as far as uh, off ice plans, we have our, we have a good trainer that uh, works really hard. And, you know, if someone's got an imbalance in their hips or whatever, she'll put out a good plan for you to strengthen your hips. Mm-hmm. Or So mm-hmm. there is individualistic uh, stuff that way, yeah. Yeah, the higher leagues are, the higher leagues have all that. They have personal yep. trainer, like, you know, they give you, not a nutritionist, maybe the NHL for sure has it, but yep. a little below that, you know, they give you a plan and whether or not you stick to it is. Yeah. is I know it's like you can have the, all the plans under the sun, but if you don't follow it, it doesn't yeah. make a blind bit of difference. Yeah. yeah. I got, yeah. I got a question for you guys, if you don't mind, because I've had this. Oh, I love us. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be good, but uh, we've had this talk ever since I was in pro hockey. Like, uh, what's what's uh, what's her name? Molly, Molly McCann. 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 What does she fight at, like weight wise? One thirty five. She moved. She moved one two five. Mm-hmm. One she two mo- five. She just moved down. That was her first fight at strawweight. I think it was one two five. One two five. But she used to one, fight at one three five and one four five. Okay, so let's say she's one two five. Does a does a two hundred pound hockey player with no UFC experience win? No. Which, win no matter. No, I don't think so. No, against I don't think so either. Against another man or a woman? Woman, which is why no. She, 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 she can box and grapple, so like she could maybe. <laughs> Maybe submit you if you've no training experience and stuff. If she fell on the floor, she would definitely submit That's what I'm saying. They always say, if I get on top of her, I'm going to pin her down and beat the shit out of her. No, you you wouldn't. But if you've got experience with your 200 fights in in the hockey rink, then you could probably knock her out. You could probably just smash her. She's pushing an arm bar or something. Yeah, no, she's technically good. I guess if you you get you have. You mm-hmm. catch her, then it's a puncher's chance. But, she, but because she's wise, small think, and light, she's, because yeah. she's small and light, though, and I mean, I, I'd definitely give you the one over Paddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't know about don't know about more don't know about Molly. But you definitely hasn't lost yet though. That'd be his first one. Right. <laughs> he's not lost in the UFC. He's no, but fucking yeah, no. He's lost in wars a few times. He's our mate now, Chris. Eh? <laughs> no, mate. He's got an easy fight, though, so, isn't he? Uh, oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Ferguson's like lost seven in a row, man. I know. Oh, yeah, he's poor bad. Tony. He's about to die, he needs man. like the old. <laughs> He, he, he needs the old, he needs the old yellow treatment, man. Like, mm, come on, one in the back, son. Come on, it's okay. See the issue they've got. Like the UFC, let him go. He's just going to get another promotion. Yeah. Why don't you just fight? It? Why don't you come to the gym and just fight one of the young guys, mate? Well, I, I don't think I. I don't think I'd win. I've always no. been. I've always yeah, been a good gr- go though. We've could, been always on the girls' side. We could, side, we could pre up against the young boy Clancy. He's only seventeen. <laughs> yeah. you could fight my son. The hills though. <laughs> fight my son. <laughs> no, I don't think I'd win at all. There's always this argument, and it's not me. I'm only like one eight. No, it's one eighty five. But we usually have some like. The real big all time hockey hockey tough guys were like 215, 220, and there's some bigger guys yeah. than that. And they're like, well, if I get this girl or guy that's 125 on the ground, I'm going to speed bag him. But <laughs> speed bag him on the ground, ground, I don't think. Like, that's, where, that's probably the most dangerous yeah. bit for you. Stand I, it. Have you done any jujitsu or any that kind of stuff before? I don't know. We have no. I have one buddy at home that always has, knows how to put someone in an arm bar, and every time I wrestle, him, just arm, <laughs> just arm bar. Just pulls it up. Yeah. We'll show you some moves. We'll. Uh, We'll, we'll get you in to do some bits Let's and bobs and we'll show you some yeah. stuff. Yeah, we'll show you the killer punch. Yeah. <laughs> Not off me. Like, I, I can't punch her for fuck. Like, my, MMA, my MMA career has been built on me 
cuddling folk, so uh, you're not going to have punching for me. Yeah. Yeah. T-shirt strangle someday, though. Right. You'll yeah. be alright. Good for Glasgow bar fights. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's pretty easy. You get in trouble when those. you're out and about? Last year, last year I got in a little, not trouble, but I uh, had to stick up for myself. I think because you've got a different accent for well, everybody else around about you. It's like he's an you, outsider. If, if you want to go get in a fight out here in Glasgow, it, it won't take long. You know, no, you the bar, it's like, back home, it's, it's Some, you got to do something really stupid to get in that. Sometimes you just need to ask somebody the time, and they're like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't like your me voice. And, me and Dylan and me and Dylan are walking down the street in Barnsley on Saturday, and a guy Barnsley wolf whistled at us, and he was like, "You two guys out on a date," and I was just like. <laughs> What the fuck? And Dylan was like, Cooper, let's go. I was like, mate, there's fucking police everywhere because the football was on, but he was like, let's go. I was like, Dylan, I'm fighting in like six hours already, mate. I didn't need to fight a guy in the street. Like, fight, fuck right, fuck before sake. we were leaving the way in, this boy just like, and then he had like the pink North Face jacket and that on. He's got the Prada sunglasses on, walking down the road. He's got people, pink trainers as well, hasn't he? had pink trainers on. Pit, oh, and Dylan. People oh, are just fucking shouting at us in the street. And I was like, we are never going to get back to it. Because I said, we'll just walk over because the hotel was so close and they had the football on there. I was like, we'll just walk over, save us, try to get the car through. And I was like, we are never going to get back to the hotel without scrapping. It's a fucking well, mission to Barnsley, though. It's about, Barnsley. what, seven hour drive or some shit? Nah, I think I've done it in about three and a half hours or something. Kicked the dick out? Aye, what? flying, like, fucking flying. But it was late at night. Did you drive him with the fucking staples? Aye, mate. Need? No, I didn't no. get staples till I got staple home. Can get him. <laughs> what? I couldn't get staples at the venue. Just jump up. Oh, right, right, so, so I went. Scott's got to say something a bit better, no? I went outside. <laughs> 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 no, I can't do that. Did I take any medication? No, I said. No, just about the flesh wound in your phone, you fucking need. Oh, that's what. Kieran Reed made. Message me, he was like, mate, it looks like you've got a fanny on your head, and I was like, well, it's my birthday. Can't wait to get I was going to say, put your fingers on your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't wait to get one on my face when I get him. <laughs> <laughs> It's my birthday, mate. It's my birthday. So. Got to wear it with a predator mask. <laughs> <laughs> Face hugger feelings. <laughs> but, uh, oh, bro. No, I, did, I said to the woman who did the hand wrapping, I was like, you got a bit of tape or something to put over this? And she was like, Aye, no problem. Stuck a wee bit of tape over it. I just went up to the, the fucking A&E and &E, the doctor. Do, 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 done it off for me. Did they, did they ask you? Like, Aye, oh, what happened? What happened? That? And I was like, nothing. And they were like, uh, look, and they come through with like a wee sheet. And I was like, I'm going to tell them my missus did this to me. Yeah. <laughs> she does it all the time. And then they were like, I was like, no, look, I had an MMA fight. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. Because they've got a log all where if you come in where you've clearly been injured by someone and like and did the black eye happen there as well but yes it did <laughs> thanks so didn't, didn't oh, done it was, it feels, it's just a little bit itchy it's all right don't scratch it mm -hmm. talk about MMA how's the camp going Chris it's going good what uh, we what we at seven weeks three weeks in I know something to go uh, seven. so obviously you've got to go there you saw no, the team no, allowed to go we got lots of time no, no, we mean the Cage Warriors. The, so the, the event I'm fighting on is obviously in your home arena. Yeah. What, what, what time? I think we're either, I think it's, we might be gone or we're playoff. It's in April, he's in. So hopefully not. April, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we get to see it, but we, we'd rather be in playoff weekend. That's like uh, top four teams make it, so. So I used to go to like a lot of raves in that arena. That was the last time I was actually in it, I think. Um, so now I'm. Yeah. Really? Wild. Um, <laughs> no, obviously. <laughs> It's got to be like sold out for an MMA show. So, how's the atmosphere when you're on now? Obviously, Grant was there last week, and he's I think it was like sold out. Um, what's it like in the atmosphere? Yeah, it's good. Like like he said, the, the seating's really good for us because it's it's like they're right on top of you. So, mm -hmm. just it's been really busy. We've been selling out a lot. I think most of our games, three quarters of our game, maybe almost all of them. Yeah, yeah, ninth seller of the year. So what's Great. what's happened? What's changed the? I don't new ownership. We got new ownership. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys didn't like the last owner. Uh, a lot of fans didn't like the last owner, and the team hasn't been doing very well. We're not doing as good as we should be this year. But I don't know. I think they they do a better uh, production, I guess, before the games mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And Always they're really making that. it for family. And fans. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's one of the things I noticed about. The US sports, it's like a whole event. As yeah, a day, a day, like, day. like yeah. when you go to the, so the, the soccer, it's like football. Okay. Like, let's go. Yeah. Maybe a raffle in between. In between, but when you go to like an American event, like basketball, yeah. hockey, it's proper. Yeah. Like all singing, all dancing. Mm -hmm. I went to the Bruins Islanders game there in November. What um, they click in the teddies? That's my favourite. Um, See when they fling the, the yeah, teddies yeah, on, on the, the, on the, on the rink. <laughs> 
love it. But the like the, the even the national anthem, like the big man gain it all day. Every, I have stood up, I had the hat off and all. Oh, let's go, man. Let's it's go. Gone, yeah. Aye, it does, doesn't yeah. it? And then it's got the camera on everybody. Everybody's gone ape shit. I love it. Yeah, I love they it. do like, especially in America, they do everything like it's better than going to actually watch the watch the shit is the stuff before. Yeah, like football, like tailgating parties. Like I don't know if you guys watch like. Mm-hmm. So, football, like so the, what is the tailgate? The parties in the car park? Car With park, the cars yeah. and the buses Car-ish, and all that? Booze, and food, and and just, yeah. just like many people just partying. Yeah, yeah. I like just, it. And everyone, for but, some reason, everyone gets along. So. But how, how come they drink all day sozo? How do they make it to the actual game? <laughs> like, see if we have an all day shot. Like, an all day shot is like you start early. I bet the way Scottish people drink is not like the way everybody else drinks. We have like a race to like, <laughs> most you can drink the most shots. I don't most. know, I think Canadians and Americans are pretty bad drinkers as well. I think it's like, it's, it's, it's a bad I mean, thing they have a like hobby Canadians like Americans just put you in the same <laughs> bracket. That's what I need. For cage warriors, get one with a bottle of Mad Dog on yeah. each side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. No. I want him to actually win the game. He's just got a season ticket for the tailgate, don't they? Yeah, right. I think there's a lot of people that just go for that. And then they have big screens outside and you know, all that jazz. So you're telling us about your camp kid? How's it been? I seen you beating somebody up the other day. Been good, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> you were up. fucking beating him up. You seen, 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 seen a four second clip and we landed three punches and they were heavy and there was none coming back. <laughs> there was, there was Lawrence is like fucking. What was Lawrence like? Fucking right. demanding, demanding. Lawrence likes a heavy spar. And then when I was going too hard, he's like, right, bring it back, bring it back. Did, did, were you there the day who asked this to spar on their MMA gloves? Me, uh, aye. We knew. It was I me. I was like, three new. You hit me. With, Neil hit me with an elbow and shut my eye. Right. You remember that? So we've got a boxing coach who's old school, right? Or we, I had a. We used, <laughs> aye. We used to be in the same. Team we used to train at the same gym. We don't know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I had, we had a boxing coach and old school when he's like, you should be sparring in your MMA gloves, and the coach was like, ah, the MMA gloves are kind of cut faces up, and he's like, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Everybody's faces were bust up, up man yeah. people were just like fucking hot it's like, that's we'll like the only time we've ever done it aye we'll not do that again aye it's aye. That's smart that's but last night I, I've got I own this wee cage but it's proper small isn't it that one in the gym and Lawrence is like wanted to taste bar Lawrence is a, just a proper old boxing coach nothing else no kicks wrestling just pure boxing so he wants us to spar in the cage he's have no way to go so it's just work 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 and then everybody's outside watching it. So there's a wee bit, it's like a fight feel. Nah, it's cool. And then you go Big Sean, I go put him with Big Sean, and he's he's a lump, he is a big guy. But he's a donut sometimes, he's just, sometimes he's just he's a good. podcast. <laughs> and then Lawrence is in with you as if he's a ref. And um, I got a bit heated last night, but the cab's going good. Uh, injuries, I've been plagued with injuries. Um, right now, it's it's been all right. The back's the back's all right. The knees all right. So are you still I'm, wearing your anaconda fight wear back brace and knee brace? No, never worn a back brace. Do you I'm not fucking muttal to leave for weight, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. Um, but <laughs> see, when I have any injuries, I, I fucking love training. Like. I love I love training every day as long as I'm coming off the mat and I'm no sore like big smiles then you're eating healthy food then you're back in at night you're loving it but sometimes we, when you can't train because of certain injuries it, 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 it just deflates your full mm. mood so right now I'm happy we've got seven weeks to go it's got to be a big sold out event in Brayhead and I'm buzzing man but the first time it's been there in like 11 years uh, in the Scotland the Cage Warriors Guild last time it was in Kelvin it Grove, was in, it? it was in Kelvin Hall in Kelvin Glasgow. Hall. Right. So, aye, I might actually think I'm, I'm coming up on Sunday, believe it or not, to your job. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Super level. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so, I spawn's going good, grappling's going good, conditioning's good. Doug, doing a lot of track work, Tuesday track work. It's oh, the summer. Wow, man. <laughs> it is the worst thing ever. Yeah. I hate it. I, 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 I didn't get my invite, so I don't know how shit it is. Hate it. You don't you don't do track work. You do your own sprints and your own gym. Alright. That's fine, mate. That's fine. Listen, <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I don't need to come. <laughs> we'll we'll do it ourselves, Ross. Aye. Oh Ross is the guy do track work with you, bro. You. Oh, fuck's sake. See my car doing bad. Vagina he does or not. Give me that hat. So <laughs> all this day was like uh eight hunters, but try to get under three minutes for the first couple of weeks. 800 meals so it's run it twice run the track twice um, you think I'll get under three minutes is, eh, that's, that sounds easy but it's not it's horrible minute rest date four times same again F- 
Last week it was alright. This week I felt physically fucking ill. I went. I told you I sat in the car for about forty five minutes after it, just staring into space like this, just contemplating my full life. <laughs> I had a sp- an hour session. Who's, uh, who's, who's winning them? Who's winning the races? Aye, who, who are you with though? He's with Michael and Jordan. Who's winning? So Jordan, Jordan didn't <laughs> do the first week. It was just me, and Michael, because he was working. But um, the first one I go two fifty seven, so I got under three uh, last week. Um, and then it was like 305, 306, and then it was like 310. The last one I was fucked. But I was just telling the boys, like, beat your, beat your time, Go, don't mm. wait up, don't try and keep up or whatever. Mm. But Jordan and Michael went, the last one they went ahead, I, but... Of I course they know. did. I don't know. They're that age, they're like mid-20s, eh? Young guys, <laughs> yeah. But as, <laughs> as if it gets closer, I'll, like, I'll half it. I'll half like the distance and I'll gradually go down to like 100 metres for like <coughs> two weeks out. So we'll see. We'll see. The fitness is definitely coming up. Um, mm-hmm. That was just like the second week so it's, it's no sun like. I hate it. I don't like track work. I don't I like sprints. Love it. Love it. Sprinting I don't like. See even in school 100 metres I hated it. But the long distance stuff like I used to like when we I all like got that. together. I like when that. We'd do, if there's we'd a do time, 100 metres. If there's a time in it then I hate it. I could run all day, but see if you're like, a date for this time. Then I, I don't you think I'd join. Greg along with you. Let him show you how you run. Greg? You run on Greg? Come. <laughs> we'll do him every Friday morning no, at 9.30. Nine <laughs> it's rude to call off your house. 9.30. If you don't know got to be there, then don't. Oh, is this a call, is it? The, well, if you want to be Jordan, like... <laughs> Easy work, I call that. Aye, okay. I don't like you about the last 100 metres. Uh, I think I'd be, I don't think I've ever lost 100 metres. To Jordan? No, I've you, never. I think you did. No. In the old Ash? I think Bullshit. I was there one time he did. Bullshit, man. He is a beast, mate. He, he is, is a beast, beast, beast. Track. He's, he's no bolt like a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he's no bolt like a beast. We have 930 period. Right. Ross, you can come and all. What, to fucking watch? <laughs> I'm not going to run. I'm not gonna, I've never run out 800 metre in my life. I'm not going to start now. So. Mine's is, uh, I've been doing loads of aerodyne sprints. Oh, 15 <sighs> runs. So it's 12 oh, seconds. Sorry, is it? Aye, uh, twelve seconds on. The things are horrible. Forty-eight man. minute, forty-eight seconds off, and uh, no, it's the bike. Oh. The bike. I use the so I I, I, I use the self-powered treadmill, and I'll run so it'll be two minutes on, one minute off, and I do that barefoot. But for the aerodyne bike, I do twelve seconds on, forty-eight seconds off, and it's like you've got to like it's max output, so it's like fifteen well, times. I was twelve. That was fifteen. Oh, you did twelve five. seconds. Aye. 12 seconds of max output. Doesn't seem all that now, no? We had to do uh, a singer in Va- Vancouver, Pesh. Vancouver camp. I went to Vancouver camp uh, a while ago and we had to do the Aerodyne. It was five miles and ten and a half minutes. It was the hardest fucking thing I've ever done. I Aye, that's tough. Fell off the, yeah. It's, 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 it's your legs. It's yeah, fuck it five like miles and ten minutes? Ten and a half minutes. Fuck it. And hell. that sounds like nothing on a bike, though. Because see, if you just sat on a bike and cycled it, Mm. Over ten minutes, you would be surprised how much distance you cover. But it's when the yeah. it's the ever once that once the lactic gets in the quads, that's when you start right. to be sick. Eh? Yeah, so that's, that's the problem. Yeah. So you get another forty eight seconds to recover, and then mm. you go again. And then you go how again. How many times you did that? Fifteen. I, I, saw, I saw you and Sean do it. And then you're there with Sean as well, who's chiselled the fucking granite. So I was at, I was at the side of track. I was like, like my side after this, like <laughs> like I hadn't it, and I was like just wretched. Nearly, I. Nearly white team we call it in Scotland. <laughs> and this wee old man walks up, and this wee old timer, just going around the track, just walking. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, ah, just lying on the <laughs> fetal position. He's like, hey, cancer. I'm like, all right, all right. He's like, hey, just keep walking. <laughs> I just like, just dust myself off. Like, oh, that guy just made me feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you you feel like you're just Fucking brilliant, man. The old timer. <laughs> So it's been a camp's been good so far. Um, Obviously, a post fighting in Rio. Um, a couple my of weeks. My face still hasn't been announced, has it? A couple of weeks after me. I think you are that two weeks. Leaked, so, uh, so Ross was at the two weekend and weeks England. after him, and these I'm guys Glasgow. are having a, so they're hitting Glasgow. Glasgow. They're having an after party, <laughs> and I'm fighting in two weeks. Your after party sold it. Your after party's going to no, be shit. I mean, the booth, no. the booths for it. Listen, I look. It's going to be shit. It's not going to be shit. It's going to be shit. We'll see. Are you, be are you going to be there? At Knox, it's going to be shit. <laughs> right, okay. It's going to be. Back it's not been announced, has it? Don't know if it's actually been officially been announced. Ah, they've got tickets for sale and all the first. Their first no, he's talking about tickets. my fight. 
Um, yeah. Oh, he's talking about my foot. You meant your after party. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sites and stuff. Pop takes UFC return. Uh, it says rumoured Rio de Janeiro event against surging middleweight. Mm. Surging middleweight. He fought in Rio last year and I disappeared to the favelas and got held at gunpoint. <laughs> no joke. So I'm not, we're not going back. <laughs> We're going back, but not to the favelas. <laughs> not to the favelas, man. So you're only you're in camp as well, because you're yep. two weeks after me. So mm-hmm. how's camp going? But it's, that's what I was saying. It's been good. Day sprints are pish. <laughs> uh, strength and conditioning has just been like strength. I seen moment, Adam strength and power. Tenerife. No, is he back? He was. He was. He, he was only after a few days. Day. Mm-hmm. Boxers like just disappearing. Yeah, yeah, they love Tenerife. Aye. Aye. They'll they'll go to Tenerife. Tenerife. Yeah. They go and have wee camps. Mm-hmm. They do like mini camps out there because the weather's slightly better. They like uh, a suntan. Yeah, his parents are there right now. Uh, in yeah. Vacationing out there, yeah. The reef. Are they, are they, did they stay in Canada? And they've came from Canada? Yeah, yeah, they came here to see a couple games first and then they went out there for, I think, two and a half weeks or something. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, that's what they were, they were doing out there, doing a wee mini camp. Um, so Adam was, was so he's back though he's back, he's back he was in last night I wasn't in last night um, I did it in my house I, like my, I think my gym's know that my gym's better than <laughs> it's, it's better equipped than the higher level, higher level. Right. I, like so the gym the actual gym I train at martial arts gym it's got massive mat area it's got a cage and then it's got um, like a conditioning area but the stuff I've got in my house I just find it's so much easier to use as well as if Probably you're trying to for you though as well mm-hmm. and if you're trying to use the bikes more for you because Aye. it's your stuff because I, I know exactly what I'm doing mm-hmm. um, it's no ideal having the lads all round about the bike and watching you and stuff mm-hmm. like that sometimes you just, especially with stuff like that you just want to be getting on with there's it there's two bikes one bike's shitter than the other one mm-hmm. right so one's one of the it's a bit heavier eh uh, one is, one's one of the assault bikes another one's like a like a standard version just yeah. somebody's made it and uh, I shit man I fucking hate using the bike it's better than bikes. What about um, outside condition? Be practical work with your striking. I have been going working with a guy called Prim, uh, high level kickboxer, absolutely brilliant, great guy. Um, probably see if he wants to come out to Rio as well. He's putting a lot of work mm. with his striking wise. Like, he's a Muay Thai guy, isn't he? Aye, he's aye. very good. Um, w- uh, the areas where I'm deficient in has always been striking for me. Jiu Jitsu, I'm, Jiu-Jitsu, I'm really good at. Wrestling, I'm half. I'm really good at it as well. Um, these are the areas where I can fight. Striking's always been this kind of like, ah, I wish I could get better at it. And it's it's not that I'm shit at it, it's just that I'm lacking confidence in it. When everybody tells you you're so good at something, like, you're so good at this, you're so good at this, you're like, I am, I'm good at this, I'll just rely on this. And then there's like obviously so many different I think because you're areas. so good at jiu-jitsu though. Aye. You're just trying to catch up with your striking, I that's all. So the striking we've been using to fight against this guy it's been working in the gym and the, 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 the game plan the game plan's been mm. been good like, it's a bit it's a bit it give me the game plan well, fucking I go no the game, like, the game plan the game plan is I'm going to shatter this guy's forearm <laughs> the game plan is cramp aye fuck you alright I'm going to shatter his forearm with cramp <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so did I fight with the initial shot on the arm? Ever see one of the ones like they cut on the pole and then they start dancing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, chainsaw. Oh. That's what we can do. Right, Ross, grab his toes, come on. <laughs> I'm not. Teamwork, man. Mind Team, the one that that ACV <laughs> when you got the ball shot. Aye. <laughs> So we are proud to have McBookie as our official betting partnership for the podcast. Uh, and they've got an amazing deal for all you listeners out there. And Ross, fill us in. If you are just signing up with McBookie, click the link in our bio and deposit £5. You get £20 of bets to play through. It makes sense. If you're going to make a bet on the UFC or any other up and coming events, why not make it McBookie? And why not? Tag us in it and let's see what you're betting on. If you get some crazy bets, send them to us. But bet responsibly and keep it McBookie. I was, I was fighting for a Russian show and um, somebody back kicked me in the balls, man. And um, I had to go down and this wee Russian ref picks me up like with my feet. And I'm lying on my back and he starts grabbing my two soles in my feet. Just starts slapping me like a ketchup bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm on my back, just like, get off me. Fuck off. Get off me, man. <laughs> like, get away from me. I was super embarrassed. But I don't know what he was doing. I, I think right. that helps it. I don't know. 
Right, so what, 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 what was that here? Before a cramp, smashing his arm. No, no, I'm going. To, I'm going to shatter every bone in his arm. Fucking going to kick, literally going to kicks in. Aye, I'm going to absolutely blitter him. Mm-hmm. Good. I remember so, you were drilling on me in Vegas, and you were basically doing the same. <laughs> remember the kicks? Aye, no. I just Dutch style. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Heavy, like hard right, kicks, you know, man. That'll be fine. So, yeah. this is like I think it's the second last fight in my contract. Um. And I'm currently two and one on this contract, so I lost to Walker. Walker, Johnny Walker, and Rio. I beat what's his name? Munoz. Munoz in London, and then I lost <coughs> to Arnold, Arnold Allen, by Brendan Allen. Brendan. So I'm two and one on this contract. So I've got two more fights left. So who knows where I'll Born be? One by the end. Yep. Yep. That's a plan. And they're gonna be like, Paul Cook can strike. Like, fuck. <laughs> see after London. So everybody's like, Oh my god, did you see how good Paul looked at middleweight? I was like, you fucking right, I look good. And then the next fight was like No, it's not like that. It's a sport man. Brendan <laughs> Allen's a different fucking it's a, it's a tough old business, isn't it? Mm. It's the same as your salesman. Sometimes you you can play your absolute best and your best just falls short and that's what this sport's like. Yes. He's Still like any know. other sports or that. He's got fans. Of any. Yeah, a big baseball fan. Yeah, baseball. Yeah, he really likes. Same as well. Yeah, I like baseball. Yeah. Who, who's your teams there? Blue Jays. Blue Jays. I yeah. went to see yeah. them once when no, I was a wee guy yeah. at the stadium. I'd never in, been. I couldn't in believe, Toronto. Aye. Really? I couldn't believe the size of the stadium. I was like, I was only like thirteen or fourteen. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I'd never seen it because we don't have anything like that here. Eh? It's just it's like definitely way better live than uh, mm. than watching on TV or something. We went to Arizona and it was fucking. We were also, we were also kind of shit team. We were also rough as fuck. Yeah, we'd been out all night drinking. What's the deal with these big cans? And they like the big beers. Fucking take you to like this red hot wow. yeah. I think that was Bud Light or something. Yeah. Especially in Arizona and the heat. It yeah, was yeah. The worst. And it's six, probably sixteen dollars it cost. Uh, it, the, the tickets were super expensive as well. So we stood up after like twenty five minutes, like. Hey, let's go. <laughs> we were fucking hanging. I don't even think we've seen a home run or anything. We didn't see MD actually get to, to get to the fucking plate. Yeah, I think last year was Arizona's first good year in years. Like they've been pretty bad. But the the stadiums are yeah, yeah class. It's man. slow though. It's like slow and long. It takes Shit. forever to get through the game. You're like, when does this start? They're speeding like, it up though now. There a few new rules now. Yeah. So you only have like what thirty seconds to throw. Usually, so a baseball game. I think the stat was three hours and 13 minutes and actually only like 17 minutes of actual action that's why so like by the time the pitcher sets up it used to be like two minutes now they only have 30 seconds mm-hmm. right 30 30 seconds for the next pitch yeah, yeah. i'm so going they, to be honest so they're speeding it up i've seen softball female softball yeah that's much better man yeah. Yeah. like fast pitch like, like, like how fucking well did it whoosh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like kenny powers man. have you seen this softball? Yeah. <laughs> have you have you seen the female ah, softball pitch it's absolutely incredible yeah that's what i play in the summer we like softball. The, well, i was gonna keep up with the score man but <laughs> like the checks are nice i don't know the score man but the birds were hot <laughs> did you just go home in the off season to canada yeah yeah, yeah. both of us yeah. i got a family farm back home so we got uh I got some cattle and some, some stuff livestock. There. Nice. Yeah, we got some cattle and then some farmland. That uh, not a big one. I'm from like an agriculture oil field uh, town, so a lot of oil fields. Big used to be a bunch of fights in the small towns back in the day. All the oil field guys uh, coming back from their twelve hour shift, going to the bar, and then the hometown <laughs> guys didn't get along. It's changed a little bit, but yeah. And then we just I go back and farm kind of all summer. Where are you, where are you from? Calgary side, Alberta. I'm from Saskatchewan, so. Uh, right. Next problem. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, he's hawk. Uh, he's wrestling fans now. WWE. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, pro wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, um, I'm a massive Bret Hart fan. Obviously, Canada yeah. and stuff like that. But I know they had done a lot of wrestling in Saskatoon and stuff like that. And obviously, the old circuit is Stampede Wrestling and stuff like that. Yeah. Did yeah. you just grow up liking WWF at the time? Yeah, or I was WWE? glued to the TV watching yeah. that when I was young. Yeah. What, what about now? It's a bit different. I now, still isn't follow it now. And if there's like, I'll watch WrestleMania. I'll order yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah. I see the, the Rock's kicking about again. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Is, is he no, is, uh, is no fuck somebody over? He's been no fuck Rhodes. He's a director now. Cody. I do. Uh, he's been heel. He's been a heel, man. I like bad ro- uh, heel rock. Oh, no, I like the rock when he was the people's champ, man. <laughs> I didn't like the corporate elbow, the corporate <laughs> eyebrow. Corporate. <laughs> the fuck? Well, he came back. He came back as the people's champ, and then they wanted this Cody Rhodes guy to fight, and the fans did in the in the main event. 
So now he turned bad, basically. And yeah, yeah. Cody so. Crybabies. Yeah, Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Paul were tag champs for uh, oh, yeah. the Scottish promotion ICW. That's oh, sick. Yeah. Aye. Um, and then my best, threw my best <laughs> punch in the a wrestling ring. <laughs> <laughs> and he also, uh, he broke a guy's jaw as well. So really? yeah, oh, clean. <laughs> Caught my best punch. <laughs> like the, the cleanest he's ever <laughs> threw a punch ever. <laughs> like <laughs> broke his teeth. If I could bottle that and take it to the fights, yeah, I'd be unstoppable. But it turns out the guy wasn't a good guy, so it was kind of a bit of karma, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he didn't know at the time. <laughs> I just fucked up. So who's your favourite wrestler growing up? Uh, probably Stone Cold. Stone Austin? Yeah. 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 Everybody loves a bit of Stone Cold, don't they? Mm-hmm. Undertaker is a pretty big legend too. What do you think gets a better reaction? The glass breaking or the rock, if you smell? The glass breaking. That is in it. Mm-hmm. I, I like I, I, I like the rock. I don't like the rock now. I, I, I fucking can't stand Dwayne Johnson. I think he's a sell it. I I, I don't, I don't I know. I don't think it is. I just think he's everything he does is it's just for social media. Mm-hmm. Like We're buying a guy a house, <laughs> buying a UFC fighter a house. Uh, that was cool. Buying a house. It's cool. It's cool. Did he post it? Did he post it? Like people. Would you post it? Would you give like a homeless guy a sandwich and video it? And no, it it the same thing. Well, I've seen, never I do seen that. you do it once. You, and you, ate, you, ate, you ate half of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, I, one, I would never help a homeless person. <laughs> Two, if I did, I wouldn't. Sh- I wouldn't ever do it. <laughs> I, I, just, I just think he's a hack. I just think he's a I hack. I once made a video with a homeless person, but it was Aye, a different, them up. different type of video. <laughs> <laughs> and that earned him $50. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I said a dollar, bitch. <laughs> my bum fights. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of homeless guys, they fight for $50. Um, what he's watching, did you finish True Detective? I did. I, yeah. I liked it. I knew you were going to say that. I fucking liked I it. it. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was high as fucking last episode. Were you? I can't remember what happened. <laughs> it's pretty much the, it, was all, it, was, it was all the woman or not? It was like, I was. I, they told them to go nice and fucking run. Aye. Um, I'm that, watching the new Irish you know, one. Have you not seen it? I have finished it, but I thought there was still some sort of paranormal shit going on. No. Just, I still believe there was a bit of paranormal stuff, because she mentions the tongue. The what? The tongue? Oh, the tongue. aye, aye, the tongue. Says, no, that, but then it could have been the, the, the cop that lifted her. Aye. Could have been How many watch that? Set up. It was. I liked it. I mm-hmm. thought, um, bye. I'm in. Yeah. Look, because I was, I was watching. I think ah, this is going to be shit. Chris wasn't that enthralled with it. And I was like, that's, that's fucking fun. good. The old wee, the old wee wifey's just saying about the boys. Uh, Jodie would Foster though. Jodie Foster's brilliant. Would you? Would you? Aye. Aye. What are you saying? <laughs> Jodie Jody Foster and True yeah, Detective. I, who, yes. I, oh. I think she was on a. Wasn't she on a plane movie? <laughs> plane movie. Exactly. Uh, she, I know the one she you're hunted down Hannibal Lecter about thirty years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So she's in True Detective. She's a little bit older now. She's like what fifty odd. Mm-hmm. Not be. Not not be fifty. Ah no. And the me's still fresh. No. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Do, do anything. I thought she was. Do we know? Do we know? I thought it was sixty. Do we know? Was she sixty? She's sixty-one. What? what? Well, she's sixty-one. Still would be. What are you? What are you watching now? What are you watching? Uh, what are we, <laughs> we just went to the we just went to the mo- new movie, the wrestling movie called The Claw. Aye, Mate, uh, I was going to go see good? that on Friday night. It's the best thing. It's but, good. But, nah, the, it's but the Von Erics. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's yeah. a good story. But I don't, it's I, I don't know a lot about the the Von Erics. Did you say that? Yeah. Nah, is it a bit grim? I don't want to give it away if you're going to see it. It's yeah. a bit. Yeah, it's like a great story, but it's a I lot heard, of tragedy. I heard that was good, man. Yeah, I, yeah. Go yeah. I was going to go and watch it on Friday night because I'd fuck all to do, and then I just ended up going to sleep. But you just wanked your cut. Didn't happen till Saturday. I watched. I was watching <laughs> Saturday night. I was watching Yellowstone last night. Uh, and, um, so good, man. Season two, and uh, uh, get off my mind. Aye, that, that was pretty much a scene where uh, he suplexes him. Uh, who's your man in the black? Rip. Rip. Mm-hmm. Suplexes the boy, disarms all the arm in the gun, points all the gun at the other one. I was like, aye. Did you know, did just throw him a defence or something? <clears throat> you see that? Like, no, he suplex. He, he suplexes the grabbed the boy and just fucking. Because then it the happened. Aye. Um, so fucking good. That's good. That's all so good. So fucking yeah. good. Have you, you watched that? Oh yeah, we, I watched it. Watch I haven't seen Yellowstone, no. I was gonna, you, you're, you're, you're a kind of yourself. Either. I, oh, I need to, like, keep hearing your thing. <laughs> I stopped watching it early because the first scene's like he's chasing cows with a helicopter. Like, coming in, that doesn't really happen. You know, <laughs> yeah. so. But then we got into it. He was like, always like, in the helicopter. He just yeah, always jumped in the helicopter. But uh 
I don't know if you've been in the scene where Beth, like the the girl, have you seen Beth yet? Oh, she and gets, and oh, and oh, she gets in the tub. In the tub, <laughs> yes. She's in the water trough there. Yeah, yeah that's a good scene. <laughs> I've, got one, I've got one of them out in my back garden, but they yeah, never, they they never look at that, man. <laughs> yeah. Mate, that was uh, that farters. I'm sure we spoke about farter before. It's a, it's a yeah, uh, we all have a bit of Beth. We've all met, we've all met a lot. Like, it's kind of like Beth. I, right, so I'm only season two and a couple of episodes in, maybe like five episodes in. I feel bad for Jamie. Uh, like, Beth's a... No? Yeah, you're late. <laughs> He's a bit of a worm though, isn't he? No, I just I, feel bad. I like Jamie, by the way, no, we speak of Jamie, that we're no, no longer with us. Oh, I.e. not, like not dead, just he used to be not a, editing the he podcast. He used to work on the podcast, he left last week. He had enough of these guys shit. Couldn't take that. it anymore. This one's for you, Jamie. <laughs> 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 no, he's went, to, he's went to a better place. Comic book land. Aye. Uh, yeah, what, what do you guys think of Sean Strickland? What a guy. I especially like, like his comments on women. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, he's no today? joking. Um, I, I love Sean Strickland. I do like him. We we met him in the PI, but he's also in Paul's um, weight division. Mm-hmm. So maybe and, a, maybe a future fight there. I like his. I do like his views. I like the fact that no, I don't agree with him, but I like the fact I like that he says them. Yeah, like, oh, I know you. Backtrack, backtrack. I like that he says them. He's, he says what people are thinking. Yeah, uh, and he's got a platform to do. Is he a gimmick? Yes. You think so? Yes. Oh, so he's course. putting on a show? Yes. Putting Just on so a character? You don't, so you don't think his dad... Character character no, no, I don't believe any of that. No, I believe that happened. What I'm saying is I don't... Because if you see him prior, it's similar to the Colby thing. You ever see him with the long hair and stuff before he went with the shaved head and he was never like that. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like... Or maybe he was just keeping this side out from it and he just went, oh, fuck it, what difference does it make? And I'll just say this stuff. Mm. So maybe I'm wrong. But... You think he's a gimmick? Um, no, I do think his views is that that's how he thinks, but I think the mere popular he's got, he, he just he can he says whatever he wants now. And mm. just, did did we talk about there. Leon Edwards getting offered the three fights and who it was? I don't know who it was, no. Did, Aye. did, did you? you see who it was? Aye. It was like Shavkat, mm-hmm. Uft, uh, Hamza, and another Russian guy, uh, Islam. And these three right? guys all turned them down. Aye. Aye. Because was it no Ramad? It's on about the uh, Ramadan. Ramadan. Why would you hit up all the free Muslim guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's oh, wanting to fight for a title. Is Aye. that for yeah. UFC 300? Yeah. Yeah. Where's yeah. they looking? They've been looking, been trying. They, haven't fa- they can't find anyone. To and is ah, Shavkat ah. an Islamic guy as well? I didn't know that. Uh, uh, which one's Muslim? Shavkat? The like, Chinese looking Russian guy. That one. Aye, you want to beat Jeff Neal? Aye. Aye. The one with the <laughs> greeny blue flag, mm-hmm. that one. What about. Um, the event at the Saturday, Mexico City, 25,000 people, man. Or fighting. Fighting, oh, in, the crowd. fighting, fighting in, the crowd. in the crowd. Did you see yeah, Mexican yeah, fans last. do this every time? The guy just blam on two folk. They just put his hat on. Put his hat on. I like the fact that the security guards were like, ah, we'll wait till this finishes. Oh, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, was not happy. <laughs> that's what Dana says, isn't it? He's like, it's rule 101 of security. Let them fight a bit, get tired. The main ones will get dropped, right? Now you can go in, start getting them out. But Did you watch the main event? Aye. Who I don't like, like the main event. Who did you think won? I don't know. Moreno's fights are always the same. They're always very close. I, I thought it was. I thought it was quite, really close. Quite boring, but the co-main, amazing. Uh, was that Yari Rodriguez versus Ortega? Aye, aye, that was pretty much smashed on that first round. What was that? Aye, but he didn't let it go, and then Goddard. Aye, Goddard was going after it. Aye, like I don't know what, what was he trying to say that he couldn't hear. Like he was literally pulling them for ages. Or t- uh, Ortega said he didn't realise. He was like, I just. Don't he's know. like I put on. Aye, I, I don't you know. Do know. Like, Obviously, Chris Duncan, Scottish fighter. Um, out of the the guy slam dunk Chris Duncan on the Chris, on his back man. That was the weirdest enough. fucking setup ever. The guy didn't look that. He doesn't look like strong, but Chris is clearly strong, and he came through him a bit. Aye, it was like a weird setup. See when he had him in like as a high clinch, aye, he was and like he up here, and then trips him. And but Chris Hopton, the first exchange, and the aye. guy just backed up, backed up, threw a head kick. But once he got to his back, like aye. I don't know if Chris was maybe still stung for the head kick because he didn't, he didn't, said, he, he he didn't the defend any hands. He said the head kick never happened. Well, because I thought it did. Well, he had he had any reaction he defending the hands in because he just got submitted quite quick. It's uh, tough going to Mexico uh, with the old. Altitude. Altitude as well as fighting a Mexican. It's a lot 
They yes. keep having issues with the crowd as well. Every time they've went right, there, there's been a problem. Because when I thought they remember they were launching the bottles out there. Uh, a bit like... I was going to say something again. Um, guy under the table. A bit of man, remember? John Anik, when he no, was like, Fitzgerald. fuck this, I'm getting under the table. No, Fitzgerald. No, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald no one he actually had under the table and Bisbing's arm on fucking getting under the table. Did we, did we talk about Bisbing Eye and his thingy last week? What? The uh, after. No. When he's, did we know? I don't know. Sorry, Have you seen the know. video where Michael Bisping... Oh, right. <laughs> did we speak with him last week? No, no, no. No, no, no. I just skyrocket him. Right up when he... Did you see it? Oh, man. Yeah. Did he do it? Like, what, Michael Bisping. So Michael Bisping is doing like the outro for... It's the first time he's done... 298 of us. He's not done one of them before, has he? He says, the man or son, he's Aye. a man. Just a man or son. And then uh, he obviously thinks the camera's yeah. cut and he goes, that was fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the camera says he's the man. He's just a man. Or no, uh, and it was... And Jamie something. would have found that by now, just so he's known <laughs> by the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thought he was off air and he said, uh, uh, But then they'd kind of done him because there was this, ma- he left a, a he- heavy fucking long pause. What man. was it he says? I thought he was a great guy. Ah, yeah, great great guy, guy. Was yeah, yeah. Great guy. Was he was funny. a great guy. <laughs> what about the murders? <laughs> what murders? <laughs> oh, it was funny. Yeah, you've got to give him a hard time for it, can fuck off, to be uh-huh. honest. There's a, he's no, who's he hurting? Yeah. He's, not, he's not saying. A, no. A Celtic manager had one yesterday and he, it's like called uh, the female reporter, is that good girl? And it's just been a pure shit storm oh, since. Oh. But he usually says to the guy, he's like, good man, good man, like when it's done. But she, he said something, she's like, what do you mean by that? He's like, no, tell me, no, no, no. He just kept saying no. He's like, okay, okay, good girl. And I walked away yeah. and it's just like pure. So people have taken it out of context. Uh, being sexist, <laughs> not. He had to phone her up more and they wanted an apology and that, but she was just laughing about it. But just go to show you, you see something in the, the media and just there's a mega, ah, but that's mega a, backlash. You the same type of thing. Like, but you, see if they say it's good women, that, that seems like, you know, like, that sounds worse. Good women, like as if you're like, making it worse for her. Not means instead mm-hmm. of saying good girl, I don't know. If they be saying good man, as he says to a guy, good man, sorted. You wouldn't say good women. That. That's mm. why he said good girl. Why would they choose? Why would they choose that phrase? I know. Why not just say? Because he's always thanks, thanks. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. Good girl. <laughs> it was Brendan Rodgers, a bit awkward sometimes. How is the old Scottish league looking at the moment? Because well, looking good, it's, it's <laughs> looking good for his team. Um, Rangers are two points clear. Um, they play the night, and so do Celtic. They're, they're away to Kilmarnock, and Celtic's at home to Dundee. Kilmarnock's uh, been they've beat Celtic and Rangers both this year on their plastic pitch in Kelly so people think it is a tough tough game would you say for Rangers tonight definitely our biggest challenge but um, the new Rangers manager Clement has got them winning every week That's good good, um, good oil machine really uh, but there's two old firm games still to come there's only like 12 games left of the league so both league aye. old firms so it's it's gone right to the wire I think um, That's good would you know rather that than having aye. like oh Celtic have won again no, with like 10 points <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's more exciting, but it's more nerve wracking. So that's good. That means they scored the ninety fourth and the ninety sixth minute in Sunday there against Motherwell. Did they? Mm-hmm, to win, uh, we'll say it would have been five points clear to Rangers. Wow. So it is a bit nip and tuck, you know. Just play on until Celtic score. Is that what they were? Ah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the Catholic referees. <laughs> 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 but so, yeah. uh, it's actually more exciting, isn't it, Greg? Uh, yeah. Obviously. Good for the league. Aye. Uh, and then European football and that kind of shit Rangers are in Europe still Celtic are popped out they've got um, Benfica. Benfica in Europa glad I keep up to date with mm-hmm. oh, man, I'm the worst I'm trying to get back in it now but did your son like it? Yeah, my son likes football so I'm trying to get back in but it's Fish. fucking boring eh? to be honest like 90 minutes he's sitting there with just absolute gimps to be honest <laughs> it is like you're sit- see football see heart supporters as well they're the worst people mate eh? like, I, I know bet you watched hearts fucking re- uh, Audrey didn't you <clears throat> I, I bet on it no I bet, <laughs> I bet on hearts not to concede a goal and fucking lost my money but it's honestly mate they're the worst people and I grew up with these people as well and I sit there and I'm just like oh I can't eh? You try and take your son, and you just think this is no, this is not a nice place to be. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 
<sighs> where's the they're where's the furthest you've travelled for your league games there's teams in like Sheffield and Hull and stuff like that now. Sheffield I think Guildford might be the one furthest in, one in uh, Wales no have you got a Wales team Cardiff yeah Cardiff, yeah. Cardiff Guildford Sheffield where's Guildford, Sheffield Guildford? Guildford? is that London it's, it's near oh. London ah, yeah. I saw somebody with a Knights hat on like Sheffield is it Sheffield Knights no Steelers mm. Steelers yeah. Steelers, Steelers. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. support uh, Guildford's what eight eight, eight something bus <coughs> so you, you bus it everywhere no, we've been flying, kind of depends yeah. on our schedule. Like if we play on a Saturday, we usually play Saturday, Sunday. So Saturday at home, mm-hmm. we'll fly in the morning Sunday to, if it's far. But we go to Dundee, Fife, we bus there in Manchester. Oh, yeah, if I'm going to Dundee. Let's go to Dundee. Dundee. Yeah. Dundonians. Um, Belfast. Belfast. Yeah. Belfast, yeah. we usually take the ferry, obviously, or we'll fly. Depending nice, on man. The nice. Schedule. And get mashed after it. Yeah. Any funny stories of traveling on that? Like... Any wild shit? I've had some in the past. Like, ah. we used to, so where we played in the East Coast, it'd be like the third down from the NHL. So it's kind of, you're you're really kind of sl- not slumming it, but it's tougher. So you get these coach buses that are there. You know, they're sleeper buses, so yeah, everyone's yeah. got their own sleeper. Yep. And you'll go like 30 hours, 24 hours to a place. So you'll, you'll drive like two nights before the game, and there's a lot of shit going on there. <laughs> We've had... The sleeping uh, part's kind of nice, though, because you got your own bunk and you can lay down. Yeah. 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 We got uh, we went like thirty hours away to Rapid City, South Dakota, one time, and yeah. in the snow we took a wrong turn. We got like high centered, Fuck. and uh, yeah, we were in like this farmland. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but we were in this farmland, <laughs> and no one was there. And the nearest uh, the next tow truck to come get us was seven hours. So we're in the middle of the night, like we had to turn the bus off because their old buses, the exhaust kind of comes in right? mm-hmm. when, you're just, when they're just yeah. sitting there. And I went and kind of i grabbed this i'm used to these old trucks so i went and started this old truck that wasn't mine <laughs> backed her up to the bus and we put a tow rope on it and we were going like this, was going it like this. in the snow yeah in the yeah, snow fuck. but we were trying to just budget out a little bit because we were just high centered and didn't work and we got caught on camera uh, and I, was, I basically stole a truck <laughs> we didn't rack it i put it back nicely and they actually were like yeah we just saw you trying to get it out like you guys got to pay for the grass you rep, ripped up in that. Oh, for fuck's but sake. No, no problem with the truck I stole, uh, but... Uh, yeah, so I guess that's... Uh, for a week, man. What about you? Any funny stories or not? Not funny. I remember there was a scary one in, uh, near Vancouver coming in. And I was going back to the States. I was playing in Washington, and uh, we're coming straight down a hill in the middle of winter, and fucking... You just hear the coach yell, hold on. And he just, the bus just screeched probably 30 feet. And everyone was like this. And I guess there was a huge crash and just straight ice. But oh, luckily we were all, we were all fine. But it was, that was probably the scariest thing. You get some wild weather in, yeah. in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Winter especially, yeah. What about bears? Like growing up through there, man. I bears traveled, or bears? Bears. Oh, bears. I traveled to Canada and I didn't see one bear. I was at my brother's bachelor party uh, two summers ago, and I think it was the third tee. There was a bear just literally <laughs> maybe 15 feet away, just on the hill, just, just watching chilling. his tee off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Imagine that, playing golf and that bear just watching just it. Fucking, that took you after your game. Have I, I played in Saturday. Played all right for the first 10 holes, and then after that, I was like, oh, fuck, yes, man. <laughs> Tough game, 18 holes. Guys, they have a slog after a while. I walking, man, and I'm like knackered. I had a tough Friday in the gym, sparring, hitting pads, and then first, as I said, 10 holes were absolutely fine. And then after, like, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> dragging it. You guys have oh. a walk on pretty much every course here, though, right? Like, mm. So when we're back, golf's Caps. amazing because you get in the golf cart yeah. and you have... Nice weather, beers. Bring your own beer case. Speaker. Two, four beer, Bud Lights in the back and drink all day and you don't have to, you don't get tired because you get to drive up to your ball. But here right. you got to go I mean, it's not I've got one of these electric fucking <laughs> wheel hangs. Makes no <laughs> difference. You still got to walk. You're like, fuck. Do you golf here, eh? Uh, a lot of the guys do. I have I have before. We went to St. Andrews uh, my first year and stuff oh, like nice. that. Kind of went around trying to get to the nice courses. and But some of the guys golf like once or twice a week. I don't know. Not you. He's got a bad bag. So yeah, I haven't golfed yet here. No. no. <laughs> What's wrong with your back? A lot of hits, Hockey. I guess. To it. Aye. Getting into hits at the board. Sport. Too, just yeah. Yeah. So I try to just save it for on the ice and not uh, not golf. Anyway. Aye. Yeah. Make yourself even worse. Yeah. Right, we done, mate. I'm getting bed to go. Your bed? Oh, I mean, I'm fucked. You training tonight? No. I'm, no. I'm half the night. I'm going straight to my bed. <laughs> 
we disco nap? Oh, Wednesday night, you're normally off. Wednesday night, nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do a couple of adverts for uh, Anaconda, G4, and McBookie. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get home, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to be. I'm absolutely fucked, man. What's on the cards tomorrow? Are you training? Wrestling. Wrestling's like that. I hate wrestling. Oh, wrestling. hate it. The kid I train with is young, athletic. And he comes for me every single week. So I've got to, f- I need a good night's sleep. I see him picking you up on a video and just Did carrying you. Do you see his real gig? Picks me up. Mm-hmm. Aye, picks me up like just like I'm nothing. Like I'm, in, like I'm 200, 200 on what, 15 kg and he just fucking picks me up with him. Like I'm nothing and he slams me and then rides the show me. I'm like, fuck off man, get off me. <laughs> this is rape. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, <laughs> nah, he's not wrong, I like, just feel like that when you're with him sometimes. <laughs> so I, it was, uh, so this morning it was uh, boxing, so I had some good rounds. Uh, first three, I was only allowed to uh, use my legs, so kicking and teeping. And then the last two was, was hands, but it changed the difference, the distance. And then he was just like, biting into the gum shield and just swinging. Oh, boom, f- Commenting the fucking lip, man. And I was like, oh, what were you on? What were you on? And I was walking forward, like, just fucking let me punch you. And fuck, I'm going to hit you. It was like something rocky. And then, the, like, I was knackered, like, uh, it was a shitty one. And then Camille, at the moment, is, uh, he's, he's just covering up into a ball and he's just flinging haymakers at you. Camille's oh. throwing hard and I, like, I noticed that a couple of weeks ago. And I'm gassing myself, punching him that much. Like, I'm hitting him that many shots in the face. Like he's rattling his head back and he's taking them all. Like you can kick this guy full force in the face and he doesn't do nothing. The Polish in the gym are the, like the toughest guys in the world. Savages. I have to say, I fought a Polish guy on Saturday. They're just so I, hence why, built different. I need to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like my knees yeah, killing me. The, they <laughs> just <laughs> come for a place. See when you get two of them together done. though, yeah. two of them sparring together though, like oh, just like, watch them there yeah. and just put these shots through walls and stuff like that. I think it's like just when they're kids, eh, they're... Polish people are definitely introduced to fighting sports much younger than I would probably say the rest of Europe. Eh? Mm. Like, what about Russians? Surely you know. I don't know about. And I don't know any Russians. Russian guys. <laughs> I like Russian people. Uh, Rustam. Oh, I don't know if he's Russian. Oh, he's seven hundred percent Russian. Is he? It's called the Russian Hammer. <laughs> Rustam Guzinov, <laughs> the Thai fighter. What's his second name? Guzinov. <laughs> There's no fucking me rushing about that. I don't know. There's a lot of Kuzinovs out in the eastern part of Europe, mate. Uh, I don't... I, well, he probably is. Uh, Ross, yeah, he's what, rushing, mate. Ross he's what rushing. about the guy fucking talking some shit on Instagram about you, not me? I didn't get that, say, because he, sw- he sent me a nice happy birthday message. Oh. Like, he, ah, I've seen that. He put two... Now cl- you shared it like a fucking mark. <sighs> Like, oh, I mean, do you know I knew you'd say that? No, so yeah. I specifically knew yeah, 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 before that. Say, look at this cunt fucking. He dominated the guy, and the guy put a post up. What does he say? Domination or something? Uh, demolition job. Demolition that's job. That's what he wrote. But that's social media, isn't it? Social media is just smoke and mirrors. Like, he's not. Well, shows the 10 minutes before I got my head cut then. Got any <laughs> clips of that? No, I didn't think so, because it's you lying on the ground getting punched. That's what so, I want to hear. That's what I want to hear, bro. He, he can put anything he wants. His coaches actually came through the back after, and they were just like, uh, uh, we kind of played the get out of jail free card there, didn't we? Because he fucking. Mm. They know what's happened. Everybody knows what's happened. There's no. He's no one. The doctor won the fight for him. Right. He's from that area. He sold a lot of tickets. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but aye. Yeah, well, starting a beef. Aye. He's, he's over Jamie and he's starting a beef. Oh, talking. Jamie's my mate now. Jamie's beat the last two guys I've lost to. <laughs> That's the fucking problem as well. So I can't say shit to Jamie now. But the doctors won that fight for him. The doctor, the doctor done me. Fuck that doctor, mate. Fuck that show. To be honest, if that doctor's going to be there, I'll never go back to it. I'll never fight. If I see that doctor, I'm leaving oh. ever again. He's sure. fucked me right over. To be honest. I guess uh, so but then that's uh, on to the next one isn't it? I know I know and I know that uh, he's not going to fight me again no way why would he he's just going to get fucking damage, pasted mate. again what's happening you beautiful people Uncle Joey here to talk to you about something I'm 60 years old I got a brand new right knee I just shot PP PRP into my left knee and I still train jujitsu. the brace that I wear the best brace out there is this anaconda sports web this is tremendous do you understand me i wear them on both knees i go to jiu-jitsu three times a week they're pain-free they stick on they don't roll down they come with little straps to tighten the knee up 
so it doesn't go anywhere. Look at this beauty right here. That's a knee brace. You got a little padding here for both legs. And like I said, I got a brand new knee here and this takes care of it. And on my left knee, it's protecting what I got left. This is from all the years of getting chased by cops and jumping fences, walking around with Converse sneakers with no support. If you want the best knee brace, if you're having problems with your knee, this is not a Band-Aid, but this will help you roll better. You'll be more confident in your rolls and you'll feel a lot much better. Try Anaconda Knee Brace. Go to anacondafightwear.co and place your order for this. You won't be sorry. I don't get anything from this or anything. I'm just letting you know, if you're an older jiu-jitsu practitioner, this is the knee brace for you, the Anaconda Knee Brace. Thank you. So what's, what's next then? The Friday, you've got Fife. When's the next game after that? Friday, Fife. Saturday, in Fife. Sad or yeah. back to back? Back to oh, back. Back to back Fife. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And Fife's ring to die. Mm. Like, so, like, might as well play in the game. Aye, so. <laughs> not that this is a dumb <laughs> So, we've made it. So, me, sorry, <laughs> me and Paul were posted fight in the Fife Arena. And on the day, my guy didn't show up. And then he fell in love. And then his guy got, took away in an ambulance for right. heart failure or something. Right. So, two is then end up fighting in this arena. Story? I'm like, so this we, is a cool arena. I want to fight here. And so, then, so, we had, so, Chris was already booked. Uh, I hadn't had a fight lined up. And they were looking for a replacement for a 205er. And I was like, ah, I'll take it. Like, the guy wasn't anything special. So, the guy does his medical. And he says to the medical staff, he goes, uh, he better keep that ambulance running because I'm going to put him in it. <laughs> I get to the arena. And the guy who's running the show comes up to me and says, uh, listen, Paul, your fight's off. And I was like, aye, good one. And he's like, no, no, the guy's had to be taken away in an ambulance. <laughs> After like, I'm saying that, what? he yeah. ends up leaving an ambulance. What happened? And he's like, um, he had heart issues. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? And my guy just didn't show up. So we were like in this Fife arena. I'm like, this is quite cool, man. This Fife is a shit home, man. Oh, obviously. You ready for a wee add-on to that story? But, I got phoned and asked if I wanted to fight you. That you shut it. You got offered to fight Paul. I was already at my work and I was like, what? and they were like, who is it? They were like, oh, it's just, I get, they never told, says, no, never told me. Never told me. Never told me who it was. So we were the ones that didn't know each other at the time. They didn't know each other at the time. They phoned me up. I was already at work and they were like, and I was like, no, I'm at work. And they were like, all oh, right, no problem. They were like, we'll give you 500 quid if you just come now. That's what they were trying to do. Just get me to come in. They'll give you 500 quid if you just come now. I was like, you got to go triangle with them about 30 minutes. Oh, mate, less. <laughs> the second that went to the floor, I'd be like, oh, fight's over. Fuck, give me my 500 pound and get me out of here. I've got a shift to go back and do it. So I'm expecting good things on Friday, especially if there's any fights. I don't want to be fucking... Getting a fucking okay. That's why they get a big plastic uh, call someone out. Stop using Tell it. someone who you're gonna be attacking on Friday. They don't really have they don't really have any tough guys over there. Nah. <laughs> They're all just pussies a bunch of gimps. Is that what you're saying? They got no <laughs> I think they got one new guy who who throws them a little bit, but he thinks he's tough. He thinks he's tough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the leg, Mr. Russell. <laughs> yeah. Sweep the leg, Mr. No, they don't really have any and there's I might, be, I might be coming to Saturday game then just to get there with your vibe mm -hmm. just rock I'll, fuck, I'll get a jersey fuck driving up to Fife man <clears throat> it's just on the full throw bridge isn't it? it's not far fuck out Kingdom of Fife where, where is it Kirkcaldy Kirkcaldy Kirk is that where the actual rink is it's Kirkcaldy yeah. yeah. Kirkcaldy is a shit easy man I'll, I'll yeah. chat up Stevie Ray we'll stay at the travel watch <laughs> It's a personal joke, man. <laughs> there ain't many people with full set of teeth in five. No, <laughs> exactly. Man. Insult them more. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, fucking an American dad checks Lebanon. See when uh, Roger the alien's a hockey player. <laughs> Check, he's got the task with the look like five one. Checks Lebanon. <laughs> checks Lebanon. Where can they get tickets for it? If they're... Hey, so it's sold out this so Friday's sold almost out. Almost sold out. We've only got 150 tickets left for Friday. So um, if they... And then next week we're at home again on the... Right? No, the Sunday to Dundee, I think, if I remember right. Sounds about right. Uh, no, Pandles on 10th. And then we're at home again on the 16th. Did he just hit up the on the website? Is it yeah. the clan? Yeah, yeah, just on clan. <coughs> Is it always a late start? We'll He's it. always puck drop always yeah, late. Yeah, it's either, either 7 or 7.30. Uh, on, no, su on Sundays it's 5. Five, I think. Is that a Sunday's five? Sunday's five, so it's that's, 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 that's a five. decent thing. Mm. That's not bad. So if you are looking to see the bad guy drop the puck on Friday against the <laughs> Fife Flyers. Right. Fuck the Fife Flyers, man. Still some tickets <laughs> available. 
Yep. Uh, <laughs> you can catch you can catch it. Yeah, we'll 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 clan supporters, have we? I know. Of course we I've got a many Bruins. He's he's loving the hockey now. <laughs> <laughs> if if someone throws five hundred quid on the on the game, I'll be fighting for sure. I'll be fighting for sure. I'll pick someone out and you fight him. How about that? Um, so check your link uh, you'll get tickets there so it's Dundee next weekend Fife on the Sunday and then this week this Friday it's going to be Fife at home so hit the link in the bio um, Romandy again aye, Fife Friday and Saturday Fife Friday and you used to play Friday and no Friday and Sunday Friday Saturday Yeah. that's yeah. a fucking dude mm-hmm. yeah Friday Saturday yeah. <laughs> home and away home and away that's a toughie yeah Listen, thanks for thanks for coming in. We appreciate right. it, man. But we're just hockey fans now, you know what I mean? So yeah. we're looking forward to this, man, Friday. Um, but aye, thanks for coming in. Thanks a lot, guys. It, yeah. man. We, uh, yeah. I think we're going to return the favour and come and see you guys. Awesome. And do a bit of, I'm going to show you my skating ability. <laughs> You're going to be like, we got a new captain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, we could even like do stuff in the gym as well, like maybe off season or when he's when he's in, got games or whatever coming up. Go to a gym and aye. show some technique or whatever, like some yeah. jiu-jitsu or wrestling. Yeah, whatever, pad work in, you know what I mean? Even some, yeah, some pad work. Yeah, just a wee other or nice. something, nothing, mm-hmm. nothing crazy, you're not going to get injured or not. Nice to break up You'll probably injure this, man. Different. Yeah, and yeah, then it'll yeah. be five yeah. fight, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys got to put the skates on and uh, then we'll show you some I'm, stuff. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll just channel my inner nine-year-old Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Well, See when I did the puck drop there, I didn't you like wear skates so can I walk it? What, how yeah, what, what happens? Ma- They'll matter. Have you never seen the face? Rose petals. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll have a jersey for you. What is oh, it? Did he, did, he, did he do it all singing, all dancing? Chris, I the Vanguard, Mungo. Then you walk out. I'm bringing the wee lady. Do you get it? Uh, Oh. No, don't do that shit, man. No. What about music? No. Yeah. No, don't do that. Is it George Lamb? Is it George Lamb? George Do you have like a theme song or something? My walkout song is uh, Credence, Bad Moon Rising. Yeah, so, don't, don't do that. Oh, you knew right away there. Don't do that, man. You can't do that. Because then somebody's getting banjoed in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's just my go to war song, so. Okay. You don't want any fights in the crowd, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But I. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, yeah, 